Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Are we live? <laughs> yes, indeed, Veldak. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, let's continue with Oni. Whoops. For some reason, uh, some things are sounding a bit quiet to me. Just let me know if the volume is, uh, normal. Alright, so in the last episode we got a steam engine. Uh, we sort of, kind of, but not really got it working. I was hoping to build a really small prototype. Volume's good, thanks for letting me know. Um, I was hoping to build a really small prototype here in order to better understand it. Um, but I think we're, ha we're going to have to go all out. Um, and I think what I'm going to go for with the first steam turbine is just hopefully a self-running or mostly self-running um, uh, cooling system for the base. Uh, maybe it won't run itself and we'll have to do a little, you know, uh, uh, manual generator as well or something. Uh, how much power does the thermo aqua tuner use? I I, I'm sure it's not going to run 1.2 kilowatts, so that's 1.5 times what the steam turbine can do. Um, but I imagine it's not going to, like, need to run all the time. Uh, Oni, that's the game you keep suffocating me in that one chamber? It's okay, the chamber has been finalized now. Just don't, don't, don't worry about it. Um, I forgot that I just connected it to this power network. That means... Well, what I was thinking of doing, I'm relieved. <laughs> She'll be right, mate. Whiskers, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, what I was hoping to do is create a loop of water here where the heat is going to get sucked out of it into this uh, thermo aqua tuner and we're going to flash to steam and we're going to get some power out of it um, and basically run this loop of water through more or less the entire main base. Um, and we might put a sensor on it on the off chance that it, you know, it's able to cool down the base too much. Um, I would be surprised if just one of these setups could do that, but we'll find out. Mainly here is where the heat is. Um, but yeah, so there's going to be... There's going to be warm water coming in. We're going to cool it by 15 degrees by running it through this. This thing's going to get hot. We're going to flash water to steam. Uh, and at the very least, it's going to mitigate the cost of running the cooling system. Um, now, the question is... Can we afford... Radiant liquid pipes? Oh, that's refined metal. Uh, 50 kilo of refined metal for one tile. I don't think we'll be doing that. Um, I might use insulated pipes for some of it. Like, maybe... I don't know, maybe insulated pipe from here up to here and back down again. Um, but we want not-so-insulated pipe running through the base. Uh, so that it can equalize the temperature between the base and the water. So, why can we do this? How about... Where, where's the heat, mostly? It's mostly down where there's already a bunch of pipes here. Um, and up here as well. That's a little bit inconvenient. But what are you going to do? Let's just start with... Oh, we're not using this pipe. That's con that's good. That's convenient. Can I actually put a water bridge, uh, liquid bridge here? Looks like I cannot. 
Um, okay. So something like uh, this, and then this. Should this be insulated? Is it already insulated? It is just regular liquid pipe. We definitely want to disconnect this part. Um, and we'll have... Insulated is just slightly more expensive. It's And it's using a very, very, very common... Um, uh, ingredient, so no trouble there. Can we upgrade all of this to insulated? Seems good. And then I don't think we want to come down here, actually. I think we want to deconstruct all of this. And then insulated pipe goes this way. Oh, wait, this shouldn't be insulated anymore. Um, regular pipe. Right about here. It's going to have negative decor, isn't it? No? Is it not? That's surprising. Considering they hate the look of wires. Alright, let's bring this down here. And then, I just realized because of the way bridges work, this is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, I guess we'll just do it like this. And another bridge. That's not going to be there anymore. Uh, and then down here. This might be more of a problem than I thought. How's the heat there? It's kind of warm in here. No, I do want to cool, like, every section of the base if I can. So we're going to have a bit of a... bit of a mess of pipe bridges here. And once more with feeling. Once again. This way. And then... Through here. That's going to be a lot of labor. Bridge. I hope I didn't get any of those bridges back to front. If this isn't enough um, area covered to well and truly equalize the temperatures, um, I don't know what is. I guess we would need some radiant pipes. Can you supply the showers with cold water to cool the room down? That sounds kind of rude. <laughs> Here, we now new and improved cold showers. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> TNT Mordib. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go this way. Can I, like... What are the shortcut keys here? One, two, three, four, five, and then I don't think there's a shortcut key for these parts. Oh, that's a little inconvenient. How about this? And then this. And then this and this and this and this. Um, through here. Through here, through here, through here, and one more. Um, I think we'll run it through this. What is, why is that yellow? Is it because it's unreachable? 
yeah, it's unreachable. That's not that big of a deal. Okay. Uh, this way. This way. This way. This way. And... I don't think we're going to turn that into a hydroponic farm or anything. So that's probably okay. And then we'll run the pipe back up through here. Alright, let's grab some bridges. One, two, three. And then over here. Back to the insulated pipe. Wait. Oh, that's an air vent. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and then we need to... I think... I think I've got this backward. I guess it doesn't matter which way it goes. Um, so we're going to have... That's input, that's output. That's input, that's output. Yeah, I could just... Bridge it like this. And get rid of this liquid pipe. Uh, seems good. Best of all, we won't have to dig back into this thing. Um, and that should hopefully give us... enough warmer water coming in from the base to be cooled by this thing. To have the heat steal, uh, stolen from it so that we warm up this water. So that the steam turbine, uh, we can use the steam turbine to pay for or at least mitigate the cost of cooling the water and cooling the base. Did you manage to build a cooling system? That's what we're, uh, we're working on now. I did want to get a really small prototype working for the steam engine, but I think it's just too small, basically. Um, so we're going to try to cool the base with a cooling loop um, to run the steam engine. Um, I am Suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning. I think it's finally time to unpause the game. How is our... Uh, calories are a bit scary. Heat is not that bad yet. Oxygen is actually really, really good. Algae is running out, I think. Two tons isn't a whole lot, right? So I guess we're going to have to wait for this whole loop to get built before we can test this thing. That is a lot of skill points. Holy crap. Um, what's morale looking like? Stress. Did I see a 40%? Whiskers. Whiskers is stressed. Everyone else is fine. Whiskers is a little bit overskilled. And grilling would not help. Grilling would be net negative. How can I make Whiskers happier, specifically? Um, why don't we have a look at him? Whiskers... Properties? No. Um... Bio? I don't think so. Status? There we go. Low morale. Additional downtime. That's the easiest thing we can do here. Uh, priorities? Whiskers, I don't think, is the only one in danger of being stressed out. Uh, schedule. I could add more downtime. It's... Downtime morale plus three, plus four... 
It actually caps out at plus four. I can just barely get him to neutral. Alright, can we copy this? Can we copy the default schedule? And then just change it a little bit? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, add new schedule. We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bath time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, bath time, seven. Oh, I could just scroll. Here we go. And morale plus four. Minus two, stress. Whiskers. Whoops. Alright. Hopefully that should put everyone back on zero stress. Ben Wu, what are you doing? Why are you scolded? Um... I'm actually not entirely sure. I know this part, this area is hot, but still. Hey, Mycleb. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, should I get him to get healed? Probably. Quinn is damaged as well. I will not be just sitting idly by while that happens. How goes oxygen not included? Um, it's hard to say. We might be in trouble. Or we might be on the verge of turning the corner and really starting to control things. Uh, I'm a little scared for our calories. Oxygen's actually pretty good for now, but we keep having to dig up algae to keep it that way. And there's only so much algae. We've got an infinite system uh, where we can turn this free water into oxygen and hydrogen. Um, however, the water supply is not entirely reliable, shall we say. Uh, it, it doesn't, it's not that much throughput overall. It goes dormant sometimes. Um, I think... For now, let's... Let's see if they get themselves trapped in there. And we'll increase the size of our pool here. I've never really seen much of the game. It looks really cool. It is pretty interesting. Um, although it has certain challenges that can be quite the barrier to entry. Basically, you've got a lot of different problems to solve simultaneously while keeping a colony alive. It's like, imagine if RimWorld, but you had to figure out engineering to make your pawns not die in real time. And getting something like a steam engine working is a lot more complicated than it is in, say, Factorio. Talking of which, have you managed to kill off Whiskers yet? Uh, no, I was just putting Whiskers on a lower stress uh, schedule, actually. He's the only one stressed out, probably because I put too many skill points on him, but I changed his schedule so he has a bit more downtime than everyone else. Uh, free copper? Yes, please. So I guess we can 
uh, count on a very slow and steady supply of free refined metals now that we're able now that we've shown that we can make refined metals uh but it was a much bigger help honestly just to dig all the way down here where we found lead uh which doesn't need any refinement in order to be used for things like uh, automation wires and steam engines and things. Haven't actually found a use for diamond yet. Our oil, our plastic system is working just fine. We've actually got 1.5 ton of plastic now. Maybe I should move that manual airlock uh, so that the water doesn't fall out. Might be a good idea. Uh, I don't want to let the gases out of here, though. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it for now. <laughs> Um, we're actually just pumping the water out down here, so I guess it's all the same, ultimately. Yay, Oni, damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, where's that pawn that I named for you? I didn't notice the request for a little while, here we go. We got a... I think a hauler, mostly. Which isn't a bad job or anything. Where is it? Uh, exosuit user. There you go. Maybe ultimately going into space? I am a serial restarter on this game. Your base looks amazing. Uh, I've definitely restarted only a few times. Um, in fact, streaming it is kind of a motivation to get past the, the mid-game. This may be our first steam engine that we actually get working. I did build a little prototype uh, with a really small water loop, but that didn't seem to be sufficient. Uh, so I'm building a much bigger water loop that's going to run through the entire base. And the idea is we're going to absorb heat from the base into the water in these pipes, pump it all the way back up here, uh, and then we're going to use this Thermo Aqua Tuna. Uh, it uses quite a lot of power, but I don't think it has to run, like, all the time. Uh, it basically drops the temperature of the water going through it by 14 degrees, and all of that heat goes right here. Uh, so that's supposed to uh, flash this water here to steam and then that is going to run our steam engine and then we pump the output water back into this little block here uh, and our cooler water goes all the way back down to the main base. Uh, so right now we're waiting on lots and lots of pipes to be built um, before we can try and run this thing again. I'm surprised it's not something dino-based. For some reason I just noticed the default sub-badge. Oh, I just haven't got that far yet, sorry. I don't have the artistic skills, really. Uh, do we print something now? No, we don't. I've got a lot of people with skills that we can spend, but... Uh, I don't... It, they have morale versus their skills. Um, I want to keep that positive. I kind of over overdid it a little bit with Whiskers and got him stressed out. So now he's on his own schedule with more downtime. Quite a lot of downtime, actually. I hope I spawned an idea. Don't take that as a criticism. Oh no, that's fine. 
I do have a couple of emote ideas I want to do as well. Dinosaur themed mostly. Unrefrigerated food. Uh, I think that's fine, more or less, as long as it's in carbon dioxide. How did oxygen get here specifically, I wonder? Actually, how are we getting little pockets of oxygen down here? Who knows? I wonder how much plastic we really need. What other oil products can we make? Um, I'm sure I'll run into a wall where I need a specific product uh, sooner or later. Let's knock off some research. We don't really need that. Actually, water gets splashed on the floor during use. We just have to pump water into it, right? And clean up the mess. The technology is easy, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt. The mechanical surfboard. Uh, let's get catalytics done. And then just pick something arbitrary to get ahead of after that. One job, one off. Top tier. I wanted to put... I wanted to get a one more emote, actually. Probably just some, like, pretty basic text kind of thing. Alright, uh... What else can we do while we're waiting for these pipes? I don't really have any other projects in mind right now. Um, I could queue up digging up more of this. Oh, we've already queued up digging a bunch. Why is this unreachable? Oh. 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 Hmm. I don't want to kill the natural pincher peppers. So, let's go with this. And I'll probably just add some ladders so they can get there no matter what order they do this in. In from top right, give ladder down. Yeah. What's that? Buddy bud. Byproduct of photosynthesis. Oh, it's a decorative plant. Byproduct of photosynthesis. The buddy bud naturally secretes a compound that is chemically similar to the neuropeptide created in the human brain after <laughs> receiving a hug. I think I remember reading about that, actually. Uh, so we should probably grab that and plant it up here somewhere. Especially since it's not even growing there at the moment. I can't remember what these storage bins were going to be for. Um, coal? No, that was here. We've got plenty of coal in here. resources for building. I could just make it an anything uh, container for the moment. Okay. So we've dug all the way up to space and we've dug all the way down to oil. Um, I should probably do something about this gas vent where we're venting carbon dioxide because the way air works in this game, we've got all these little packets, mostly carbon dioxide, but the, so there's not that much air in these pipes, but the problem is with the way that works 
if we want to like insert something here uh, to get rid of it, as long as these are, as long as these packets are here, that's like completely in the way. But I see we get some downtime anyway. We actually ran out of coal here. That's why. That's surprising. I guess everyone's asleep? No, not even. How did that happen? I guess I didn't crank the priority on these. I'm, I'm really not that concerned about it, though. Um, like, I, I don't care how quickly we get plastic, really. It's not a survival thing, and I think we're probably already way ahead. We've got almost two tons of plastic. Whatever little project I'm going to need plastic for next, I imagine we're ahead of that. I think we need, like, 200 kilos of plastic for one steam turbine. It's actually... Oh, I was going to say it's only made out of plastic, which is would be weird, but no, we can make it out of any refined metal. And we're doing lead because we have the most of it. Okay, time to prioritize the builds that we're trying to get done, I think. Who just got scalded? Wow, just by sitting here? What temperature is this? 70 degrees almost. 87 degrees, just in the air. That's kind of nasty. And perfect for being just under our steam engine, I suppose. A dupe is about to be trapped? You mean here? Yeah, I, that's why I was keeping an eye on it. I kind of half expected that. Um, I probably shouldn't... Uh... They're probably going to get scolded, no matter what I do, to cut this wall out. I should have left that ladder there until... until a bit later. Or they could go through here. I think they're just going to have to get a little bit scolded. What are we printing? Oxyfern seed? Uh, probably. Yeah, definitely. Even if we don't use it. Uh, Oxyfern. What does that require again? Oxyfern. Carbon dioxide, dirt, and water. And a farm plot. Okay. I think we had one growing down here, but we ended up moving it. Uh, we could just put it down here. That's a lot more accessible, I guess. Who's getting scolded? Just by being here, you're getting scolded. That's nasty. Okay, let's spread these out a bit now. There's nothing behind there, I don't think, actually. Alright. Maybe I should put, like, a... a bulkhead here. I can't really. Oh, I can do it here. That might keep the heat in bit better. Don't die, please. Oh, they're sweeping this up. Yeah, I don't care about that for now.
What's that? Coal. Old as well? Question mark? Battery. 92 kilojoules. That seems a lot. Food is still... I think it's going up. Yeah, it looks good actually. Entombed. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, some ice re-froze, I guess? That's a lot of hydrogen. When did that happen? Wow. Okay, our hydrogen loop is actually fully self-sufficient now, I think. That's cool. Our uh, electrolyzers... Two electrolyzers are running themselves on the surplus of hydrogen. Should probably keep scaling this up. Very, very good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, last I was looking at this, it was always choking when we tried to get it started, but we finally got there. Um, because the hydrogen coming out of the electrolyzers is a little bit inconsistent, a little bit bursty, uh, it's hard to reach a critical mass where the hydrogen input to the generators is saturated so that this runs itself uh, for long enough to actually achieve takeoff. But now all of a sudden I look here and we've got an, an entire gas reservoir full of hydrogen. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so that just leaves... I mean, that's probably why our oxygen is so good now. We are about to run out of algae, so this is actually an excellent time to test it. Um, we're going to find out if just leaving this thing to run itself uh, is going to produce enough oxygen for us. The only trouble is, just like anything that has multiple outputs, like in Factorio, if we run out of storage space for the hydrogen, uh, our our machine is going to stop. Unless we either send the hydrogen off to space or create more storage, I think would be better, um, at least for now. And we could maybe take more advantage of the hydrogen to run... I mean, each each set of electrolyzer, couple of gas pumps, filter, hydrogen generator, and so on. Uh, each set only has a small surplus of power. But... Uh, it is a surplus of power. Burn it? Do you mean in the hydrogen generators? Yeah, I could easily, like... Prioritize, like low priority output the hydrogen down to somewhere where we need power, I think. And run a hydrogen generator. How much heat does it produce? Uh, quite a lot. It would be nice if we could, to some extent, put our hot things under our steam turbines. Obviously, if we just put all of our hot things in one place, it's going to get so hot that things break. Um, but we'll see. It's rather hard to go from early game spaghetti to something really nice and organized, especially in this. More so than in something like Factorio, because we've got to keep everything working. Just the spare H2, indeed.
Uh, what's this? We broke the power? Since when? No automation wire connected, broken. How did it break? Don't tell me it got too hot. How am I supposed to... What can I make automation wire out of that isn't going to get that hot? I guess gold amalgam? No, I can't. Uh, tungsten. Overheat uh, temperature plus 50 degrees. Copper does that as well. Lead is minus 20. I might have made it out of lead. Everything else is plus 50 degrees. Okay, what is this wire made out of? Uh, can we tell? Properties? Lead. Okay. So... Automation wire... What do we have the most of? Lead, obviously. What... Can I spare? Probably iron? Uh, is what I can spare the most of. Wait, what? I, I just want to see... Huh? Why can't I... Wait, what? Oh, it's power cables. Derp. The automation wire is only here. And what did I make the automation wire out of? Also lead. Thermo sensors made of copper, that should be fine. I wonder if the dupes can rebuild this through the wall. The battery is cooked? Oh yeah. Wait, what did I make it out of? Boofy? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, lead. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there is, a, there is a significant downside to using lead here. Apparently I can't just, like, upgrade plan this. Alright, I guess we're deconstructing this. Um, conductive wire is going to be made out of iron. I have a feeling we're going to run out. And once that's done, we're going to replace the battery. Don't forget the automation wire. Also out of iron... I do hope we can get in here uh, we, without, like, breaking this. We're about to find out. Uh, doesn't look like it. Alright, I guess... Can I disable this? Yeah, I can. Okay, we're gonna deconstruct this one tile. And I imagine that will let the dupes build this, otherwise we might have to put a ladder here. Yopo Alts. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we clean this up? No, apparently not. Oh, that would kill the <laughs> the random Paku in here. Okay. The storage bins are surprisingly full. Let's add some more, I suppose. Oh yeah, let me give you a shout out as well. Battlefield 2042. Is that one of those ones with the giant alien attackers? Or am I mixing up my... Uh... 
No, that that was like Battlefield Earth is not what I'm trying to remember. That's a that's a terrible movie. Um I, I'm blanking on it. Battlefield 2042 is just like lots of vehicles and team fighting, right? Started stream with No Man's Sky, but game almost put me to sleep. Rip. What is this? Muckroot. Mirthleaf, I think we'll take that. Wait, how are our calories? Ooh, 39,000? But what's the trend? Are we losing food or no? Not really. Uh, where do I get those reports? Can I click on this? No. Food tab? Wait, what? Uh, why do I get that screen with the achievements and stuff again? Oh, here we go. Colony summary. Calorie generation. Um, that's rather difficult to read. Maybe I should just take the food to be safe. I mean, it's like a day of food or something. It's not going to help, like, in the long run. we got to keep the, the trend to be a calorie surplus. And that's part of why we need to cool the base. Oh, we missed a bridge. Uh, which way is this bridge? Uh, here we go. Left to right. Wait. No, we don't need a bridge here. That was because that was getting marked for deconstruction earlier. If there's a single bridge that is busted, I think no water's going to flow through the whole thing. How many dupes are you rocking? 16. If I could do it again, I would hold steady at 8 until I know what I'm doing. Um, it's definitely accelerating, like, eating up all the algae to make oxygen, for example. We got a bunch of poker shells, and I don't know what to do with them. They are glum, because they're overcrowded. Um... Some of them are kind of old. They eat polluted dirt and rot pile and output sand. Did we set this up? Yeah, we did. Polluted dirt, rot pile. Okay. So I guess they're doing their job already. We need to replace this battery before I forget. Smart battery. Uh, probably iron. Oh, we got that changed, I think. Uh, can I... There we go. Properties, iron. Fantastic. Alright, let's put this back. Actually, can we sweep this up first? Uh, sweep. Priority... Cleaning, priority nine. See if they can reach that, otherwise we'll have to add a ladder. Storage unavailable. Really? Um, okay. How about... I don't think our hatches are going to be upset if we just throw some more storage in here, are they? I don't know. This will be fine. Did 
Does cramped slash glum affect creatures output? Um, I don't know. I still, I'm still not sure how to manage their population, to be honest. They just breed <laughs> until they're unhappy. <laughs> Unless I can build a system to convert them into food without my oversight. Um, not sure what to do about it. Are we creeping towards finishing our... What is this? What? What is this? Let's see. Water comes out here, goes down here. That's facing the wrong way. So that's wrong already. And then goes... Oh wait, no, that's right. Or is it? I think I got this part backward. This is input. Yeah, 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 I got this backward. Does that mean I'm going to have to flip either uh, the Thermal Aqua Tuna or every bridge in the whole thing? Let's see. This way, this way. This would be wrong. This was supposed to be the loop coming back up. So this would be wrong, this would be wrong, this would be wrong. This would be wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I missed that piece of pipe. Wrong. 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 Uh... Yeah, it looks like they're all facing the opposite direction from the Aqua Tuna. So, as much of it- as much as it's going to be a pain to get in there and change the Aqua Tuna, uh, I think it's going to be less of a pain. Pipe spaghetti, indeed. I think you missed a bridge at the bottom left. Uh, quite possibly. Yeah, that too. So that goes that way. Water comes back up here. And... I could... do a little crisscross with these water pipes and leave the aqua tuna in place, I guess. Maybe? So I need this to go up here, and this to go over here. I, that, that's more confusing. Let's just deconstruct this and put it back. And if necessary, I'll um, deconstruct this tile as well. It's fine. Thermal Equituna, priority nine. Uh, errands. Unreachable. Okay, good to know. So we deconstruct this. And nobody is coming. Still nobody is coming. Benwu, job number two. I think someone was coming for a second there, but... Here we go. Undead hunters on the scene. Or not. Okay. I won't be surprised if we need to... You know what, I'll just schedule it to begin with. Um, I was going to schedule putting a ladder here, but it won't let me until this is removed. Okay, maximum priority, go. Undead Hunter, current errand, fantastic. He is looking unhealthy. 
Um, cancel, deconstruct. No, I don't think so. Uh, how unhealthy are people? Someone's getting healed up when I didn't schedule it, which is good. I can't see how unhealthy they are from here. Let's see. Health 46. Jesus. Okay, Undead Hunter. Please to be not getting burnt to death. Nothing quite like a can of tuna as a 3am snack. Indeed. Zura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No automation wire connected. That's fine, actually. Uh, is this wire disconnected? What? I think it's just... I think that just means the switch is off, which it's supposed to be for now. Uh, maybe I want to swap these around, actually. Is that off or on? It. I would imagine that's on, right? Status inactive. What? I guess green means it's on. Scalding. I can't see your health bar. Oh my goodness. Uh, Slowder. Vitals. Slowder. 79 health. Okay. Oh good, he's getting this done. Okay, can we sweep this up as a pri... Actually, before we do... Um... Make sure we rebuild the aqua tuna. This time facing the right way. Uh, this way? Wait a sec. I think some of these bridges are backwards. No matter which way I do it. So we want... We want the water to go down this way. And water comes up here. So this bridge is backwards. And this bridge is backwards. Lovely. Plus one vote for chicken. <laughs> okay. Um, sweeping jobs. Let's see. Cleaning, priority 8. Close enough. I think we do need the ladder in here to get this stuff out. I don't particularly want to leave um, refined ores in there. Probably end up having to leave a little bit of sandstone in there um, when we replace that ladder. Let's see, errands. No errands. What? Available errands. Does that mean we need another ladder to make this reachable? We can't do that. They should be able to stand on this ladder and pick this up. Oh, storage unavailable. Uh, okay, here we go. Copy settings. And then... It still says storage unavailable? Is it because we didn't have lead when I made that set of rules for storage? Metal ore. Copper, gold, iron, wolframite. But there's no lead? Refined metal. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Well, there's your problem. Uh, and copy settings down here as well. Here as well. Alright, errands. Is it reachable? Had a nice steak a few hours ago, so I will also vote chicken. <laughs> okay. Chicken is serious business. We got the lead out. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's replace this... Actually, I'll, I'll wait until they finish the Thermo Aquatuna, just to be sure. Quinn is on the case. And Quinn is off the case. Pawns. What was the last thing you ate? Uh, fried rice, I think. project is taking a very long time to complete. Did we get the pipes done at least? No? Uh, they can't reach this one. Okay. Winner, winner. Did we get all the other pipes? No. Um, why not? Priority. Construction. Priority eight. And this one as well, please. Why did I just lose my priority cursor? There we go. Scolding. Finally got it done. And I hope if we swap out the ladder tile for insulated tile, we won't end up with a bit of sandstone stuck in here. And oh no. Okay. Uh, we also need to bring this conductive wire across. So that is yet another construction job. Quinn is on the case to get scolded again. Mod's asleep. Uh-oh. My chat is very good. Always. No exceptions. Ooh, what is that? We got a glossy Draco? I didn't even try to make a specialist one. Uh, let's see... Diet Mealwood makes Phosphrite. That's excellent. Uh, Bristle Blossom also makes Phosphrite. How did we make a... Oh, the Dracos just in general make Phosphrite. How did we get a glossy one? Um, where do we look at this stuff? I think it's under... Diet somewhere? Information, properties, uh, diet, mealwood, bristle blossom. Okay. Is this it? Is this all the information about how they can evolve into different types or? I don't understand. Well, whatever the case, we got a glossy one. Um, should be comfortable. And I guess it makes 
about the same phosphorite for the food that it takes in. Uh, 0.8 units of mealwood becomes 10 kilograms. One becomes nine. Oh, that's a bit worse. Never mind. Still not clear on how we got one of those. How's our temperature? Not great, but the plants are still growing, which is the main thing. We've actually got 50,000 uh, calories available right now, so that is looking good. Did we finish the water pipe system? Oh, I think we did. But this water is stuck, so that is probably a no. Oh, I forgot the bridges over here that we need, had to replace. Um... So let's go Igneous Rock, I guess. This way and this way. What you feed them gives them a chance to hatch different types. Yeah, I saw that somewhere in the game, but I don't know where to find it. I think it's a low chance per egg. Okay. Um... Cool, I didn't even prioritize that, and it just got built. Fantastic. And once we build this bridge... Yes, 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 the water is moving. Okay, I think we're ready. And we've also got power in the battery. So this should run the Thermo Aqua Tuna. Once it gets some water up here. Oh, we need to pump more water into this pipe system. <laughs> That would probably help. Well, we can at least see if this part works. It does. So, what temperature is this? 20 degrees. So now we need to pump a bunch of water into our loop. Where would be a good place... I could steal it from our regular uh, sanitation loop a little bit. I don't know if we need to keep any slack in the pipes or not. Where would be... Let's see. We take our water in here... It goes through this filter. Uh, regular water comes out here. It's hard to see where it goes, honestly. I guess this is it, and then it goes up there. It also goes this way. So if we put a bridge here, we should be able to fill up our loop. Might want to replace those pipes to insulated going in and out of the aqua tuna. I think I already did that. Uh, we've got... Nope, never mind. Well, we'll see. We've got insulated pipe here. I, I want it to keep the temperature going up here and coming back down. Um, but everywhere else I want it to equalize with the environment as much as possible. Um, I don't think it matters here unless the pipe overheats. Which insulated pipe... Oh, it does actually... No, that's the resource effect. Yeah, uh, it actually doesn't matter. Like, it'll overheat at the same temperature. Just depends on the material we built it out of. Normal pipes will be absorbing heat from the steam. Heat from the steam. Uh, good point. Do I have to deconstruct the bridge to replace them, though? That is unfortunate, to say the least.
too much water in there and the turbine won't be able to output uh, with the vent over pressure. Yeah, well, there's no water in the steam engine right now, so it'll suck in a bit of water and it'll make room um, to loop that. That should be fine. Uh, priority... Is there a bit of pipe there? Can I not prioritize the pipe build specifically for this bit? Or is that already going to happen? We'll see. Um, we'll turn this off for now. Marine. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, looks like they can actually can reach all of our builds here, so that's good. And despite the priority levels, they built this first and cut off access. Okay. I can't replace that so that a little bit of material is going to fall back in here. Um, I guess we're going to have to deconstruct this. Why are you standing there? Oh, they did pick it up. Fantastic. And... Once someone's actually building that last piece... Um, I'll put this back. delivered. And Ben Wu is on the way. Oh my god, Ben Wu. Why are you here with 20% health? Get out. Ben Wu, get on that cot. Who else is low? Uh, Sloder is down to 55%. Alright. Hopefully that does it. Bunch of our hydrogen, uh, hydrogen gas has been consumed. I wonder why. How's our oxygen? It's. I think it's slowly running out. Yeah, I think we might be in trouble there. So I need to expand this yet again. Wait, isn't that going to be too much for the wires? Yeah, it is. Uh... So I need to play with transformers or make a separate circuit. I guess I could replace all of this with heavy cable. Uh, although running it through there would be a problem. I'd have to change that. Uh, same thing applies here. Can I even put one of these here? I actually can. And like that. And like so.
so... I guess we could upgrade this to use heavy white wire. The thermal nullifier consumes hydrogen to run. Yeah, I know. Just a little bit. It's really, really small. Um, 10 grams per second with just one... Uh, with just one set of electrolyzer, two gas pumps, gas filter, hydrogen generator. Uh, it still gives us a tiny surplus of hydrogen. In theory. If it has full uptime and this thing isn't running all the time, uh, preferably. Oh, did we get this built? Alright, finally. Let's uh, give this a try. Our loop is... Wait, why is this not running? Because there's no... There's no one on that generator, that's why. Oh, we've got a printable. What do we get? I'll absolutely take free copper. Okay, our thermo aqua tuner is running. It is at more than 100 degrees Celsius. Is this disabled? Yeah, it is. Whoops. Uh, our water is only at 87 degrees so far. That's probably where our power consumption that's been eating the hydrogen has been going, I think. Maybe. It hasn't been doing it that long, so maybe not. I don't think it's the drain just from this smart battery. That is... Uh, seems improbable. Okay. We need more water in the loop as well. I want it almost full, if not full, if that would actually work. So I guess we just keep pumping it in from here. I think we need to dig up more algae. Um, we've got a bit over here. It's not that much to get excited about. We do have a way to turn slime into algae, so I suppose all things green. Um, would count. So let's dig up this. And... It's kind of awkward to get in here. I don't even have access to this part yet. We could keep Digging through here, I suppose. Okay. Here comes a bit more water. So let's see. Temperature going in. Uh, let's see. Water, water, water. It doesn't say. Gas pipe. Insulated liquid pipe. Contents empty? What? 
here it is, 29 degrees. And once it comes out here, uh, 15 degrees. Nice. And this water is now at 88 degrees. Uh, I guess it's slowly getting there. Yeah, I think we need to close up all of these gaps in the water before we see this thing potentially working properly. We do have a nice long line of water coming in. Let's see, what's our temperature here? 88.4. And here it comes. Eighty-eight point five, point six. It's taking a surprisingly long time to get up to temperature. Eighty-eight point eight. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine point one. I think it's going to get there. Once we actually do have enough water in the loop, I'll want to deconstruct this bridge right here. How's our oxygen? Did we get that algae? Not yet. Wait, we already dug this up? There should have been some algae in there. Or was it all clay and slime? No, there's algae right here. There we go. Algae count going up. I guess we should go check this out. Um, how do we get in here? Let's go through the ice biome. Might find something. Each tile has about a thousand kilograms, but each water packet in the pipe is only 20. Uh, that would explain it. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I know a thousand kilograms of water here. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of heat capacity. But to combine that with the fact that each tile of water is only 10 kilograms, that makes a lot more sense. Ninety degrees. So it's gonna be a lot harder for it to fall down below a hundred degrees as well. I mean I don't know, the steam engine is going to consume heat to turn it into electricity, effectively. Uh and I think the electrical wires don't actually like output heat in a way they probably would in real life. So we uh, we effectively get a heat sink out of it. Which is what we need right now. Back to spaghetti? We never left. The engine is going to output some water and will flash boil all the extra heat in the chamber. Yeah. 
90.6 degrees. We're getting faster. Um, mostly because we've got more water in the loop now. It is quite a large loop. But, I mean, I do want the base to have about the same ambient temperature. Except for places where we are specifically doing things that generate a lot of heat. Or if we need heat or a lack thereof. It's the largest loop I've seen, but we're just getting started. What do you mean most bases don't have central cooling? As long as the water gets where it needs to be, it can be as big as you like, yeah. It's not like you need pumps to move the water around. It just wants to move by itself. Oh, we got some research done. What's this? Soda fountain? 480 watts. Rec room, carbon dioxide, 1,000 grams per use. Oh, that, it consumes carbon dioxide. Water, 5 kilograms per use. 1,000 DTUs of heat, plus 4 morale, plus 1 science? What? How does... I'm not even going to question it. Soda fountain creates science. Decor, plus 10. That's nice. Uh, consuming soda will increase duplicate morale. Yes, yes, yes. Does it need a liquid intake pipe? Yes, it does. What about the carbon dioxide? Where is it getting that from? I guess, um... No? How do we get the carbon dioxide to it? Oh, I'm guessing we need to use... I saw another research, another technology, where we put um, gases into little containers, I think. Soda... Soda fountain. Here it is. Uh, let's see. Ice maker, ice e fan, space eater. No, that's not it. Synthesizes oxalate. These are just sensors and stuff. Didn't we research a thing that puts a little bit of gas into a container? That the dupes can move around? Office water cooler effect for the soda fountain? It's past my bedtime, time to swap to mobile mode. Fair enough. What kind of mad lad drinks six kilograms of soda water at a time? Yeah. Dupes don't have an addiction, you have an addiction. Shut up. Temperature is almost 93 degrees. The dupes are a different kind of breed. I mean, they literally are. 93? So we're cooling the entire base with this thing. Albeit maybe not that much. Um, and it's taking this long to flash to steam still. I guess the other way to go about it would be to take advantage of something that we have that produces a lot of heat uh, and use that byproduct heat as, like, just put it underneath this thing. Nice. 
94.1 degrees. I think it's going to be a few more cycles before we get there. Um, yeah, I don't want any more dupes right now. So... Oh, the load is actually going over 2,000 watts already. Uh, okay, I want to replace this with the chunky wire, the heavy watt wire. We could even go... Maximum 50 kilowatts. It costs the same amount, but it's refined metal instead of metal. Wait, what? Decor plus 20%, but it's negative 20. Well. Um, I'm thinking... We've actually got a ton of iron and gold amalgam. I should probably process more of that into... We're already processing all of the tungsten. Maybe I should process all of the iron ore into iron? Is there a reason that I should keep... There's probably a reason I should keep some amount of... Uh, regular ore, right? Maybe? Probably? Yes, definitely. I wish we had better options than queue up a bunch of these or just make it go forever. Iron to steel. We need refined carbon and lime. Gold amalgam to gold. Uh, how much have we got of each? Let's see, 30 recipes would be 3 tons. And we've got 29 tons and 20 tons. Okay, yeah, that's that's not even that much. That we just queued up. Um, anyway, before I get sidetracked, I wanted to upgrade all of these wires to heavy watt wires. Um, so that we have more capacity on this circuit. Um, and we can add another hydro generator or 10 um, along with the electrolyzers. Wow, we've actually run... How small are these reservoirs? We've actually run out of hydrogen. More or less. I mean, we've still got an, a decent amount in the loop, but it is creeping towards crashing. Probably going to look a bit different once we get our steam turbine going. Um, but yeah, I would like to turn all this into heavy watt wire. And do we have a heavy wire bridge? We actually don't. Ah, uh, that makes it harder. That makes it a lot harder. Okay, let's concentrate on this part first. We can definitely do this. And this. And I don't know how we're going to reach that. We're probably going to have to remove a tile again. I hope we won't be doing that after the steam engine is working. Maybe I'll have to disable it. And then this goes here. This is going to be uncomfortable. Um, what about... 
I don't even need a joint plate there. We can go up this way. Um, we can put a joint wire here, or apparently not. Maybe here. And here. And this goes here. And I want to... Remove all of the two kilowatt wires. And then we have to get it over here somehow. So that's probably going to involve going around all of this stuff. Unless... Unless we go up here. Regretti spaghetti go burr. Okay, so now... Now we need to deconstruct the remaining wires. So they don't get destroyed when... When we go over two kilowatts. I think that's it. Oh, this bit. Okay, I think that's it. Time to patch our regretty spaghetti. Never a good idea to use what plate in Steambox? What plate? Do you mean this thing? Insulate? I mean... The joint plate? I can make it out of gold amalgam for temperature. It doesn't actually say anything about max... about an overheat temperature. If you don't want heat leaking out. Well... I don't really have a choice at this point. Not unless we have transformers and a big central. That's going to be a big pain to patch with our spaghetti. Besides, uh, there's already a ton of heat being generated here all the time. You can use a transformer. Yeah, I know, but it's a trans. Like, if if I'd known what I was doing from the beginning, I could have designed something with transformers that would have looked a lot, that would have worked out a lot better. But we're trying to figure it out as we go, so we've got this spaghetti to work with. It's so hot people are getting scalded just uh, just standing around here. So I'm not that worried about the heat escaping. Also... Uh, they let a rather large amount of water fall out of this, it seems. Surprisingly large amount. But it, it looks like it's still functionally full. Uh, who's... who's dying? We got undead down to 58 health. Not a fan of that. Damsel getting cooked as well. Okay, undead, you are way too... cooked. Please get yourself healed. Who else? Uh, ben Wu is down to 61.
Don't cook me. I'm trying. <laughs> Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I don't know why... Um, like, I thought I set this so that if they take any damage, they'll come here to get healed up. But they seem to just stick to what they're doing to the point where they almost kill themselves. With that, what plate the turbine is going to heat up, and at 100 degrees it stops running, and steam needs minimum 125 for it to work? What do you mean it stops running? We're just making sure you're staying warm? Oh no. Yeah, I know hot water's pouring down into the base as well, but we do have a coolant system. I, I love that you can see it quite clearly in the liquid pipes here. Uh, so they're going to somewhat equalize with the temperature of the base around them. Um, and they're going to go back up warmer than they came out. And then the heat's going to get pumped out of them. Did we finish? No, we didn't. Not even close. Yeah, we're waiting on a lot of build jobs again now. Priority, construction... Let's say seven. Oh, that is such a lot of stuff they need to do. They got the deconstruction stuff done. At least we'll get a bunch of refined metal back. It's a new day. Our Neapolitan pollution, uh, polluted water and water is getting a bit uh, more polluted again. What is this purple stuff? Salt water? Oh. Um, that could be a problem. I hope it doesn't break anything. One project at a time. I mean, when we're still figuring out how things work, one project at a time. Can we mop this up? And maybe this as well? We have overheat temperature range. The turbine, on the other hand, just stops functioning when it heats up to 100C, which will happen because of the what plate heat leaking heat. Uh, what turbine are we talking about here? We've got the Aquatuna, which has an overheat temperature of 175. The steam turbine. Overheat temperature 980 degrees. So...
I mean, the ambient temperature will rise a bit, but it's already really hot. 100 degrees, it stops working. As in, if you drop below 100 degrees. Or actually, it's still at 96. Oh, it just dropped a little bit. 96.2 degrees. Why is this not getting done? Construction supply... It doesn't say it's unreachable. I guess there's a lot of construction jobs right now. I'll bump these up to make sure that we can actually reach them. In fact, I'll bump those ones up as well. Are all the builders healing from being scalded? Uh, nope, they're good. Or at least... Yeah, most of them are relatively okay. Let's get these two healed up as well. Some much earned rest. How quickly does... Uh, do they get healed? Not very. Not that slow, either. Alright, can we get this done now? Errands. Uh, current errand. Fantastic. Oh, the park got flooded as well. Yeah. We got a puffed sucking in polluted oxygen from our park. Oh, nice. I mean, that's good. Maybe we should breed some more puffs. Can I wrangle them? No? I think we need uh, specifically airborne critter bait. Only the eggs? Only the eggs. Oh, if they just, what, drop eggs on the ground, we can just take them? Eggshell. Does it tell us what type? Doesn't look like it. Can we use this for anything? Compost. Uh, sure. Is there a quick way to do that? Doesn't look like it. Does just having the compost pile mean they'll get around to it eventually? Someone said you can't wrangle adult puffs. Let's see. Uh. Wow, wait, whoa, wait, what? We have over 100,000 calories now. What happened to treading water? Well, I'm not complaining. Must have got a bit of a burst or two. Oh, maybe it's because our temperature is dropping that more of our plants are growing. Yeah, I mean, without looking too closely at the numbers, uh, it, it does seem to be the case that our base is cooler now. 
And we don't even have the steam turbine working properly yet. I'll take it. Um, can we please get... Oh. Errands. Nothing. Oh, that's automation wire. Heavy watt wire. Quinn current errand. There it goes. Alright, uh, can we sweep this up? I don't want to leave that debris in there until the end of time. Fantastic. Is anyone still hurt? Nope. We're all at full health. Nice. Alright, now close this up uh, for the last time, TM. Definitely, definitely the last time this time, I swear. And I wonder if I should have a door here as well to help seal in the heat. Oh, I just saw a little burst of activity from our steam engine. But how can that be? This is still at 95 degrees. Unless it consumed that much? Surely not. There's no way it consumed that much heat, like, instantly, right? You must cool the steam engine? Uh, but it's got an overheat temperature of 980 degrees. That's overheat? Also, it's only at 80 degrees anyway, 74 now. Working temp is below 100 degrees. Hmm. Uh, well then, maybe we shouldn't have this. Well, we'll wait until we get these power cables replaced. And then we can actually test it properly. Steam engine. Yeah, it definitely doesn't say anything about an operating temperature of less than 100. Steam uh, engine. Nope. Turbine? Absolutely nothing. It'll get hotter as soon as the water gets hot, as the heat is leaking through the watt pipe. I can't believe how long it's taking to replace this power cable. actually get here. How did they get here before? Did this refreeze at some point? Is there a good design? I don't want to look up any designs. I want to figure it out as much as I can myself. 
Unless I get absolutely stuck, I don't want to look things up. Still a lot of construction jobs here. They're finally starting to get done. Is there... I don't think there's supposed to be water in here. Right? Converts water and oxygen into hydrogen. Yeah. Absolute mess of a build. But what can you expect? The design I use includes an automation in regards to the liquid I cool. Yeah, I've got that. Because um, we're primarily wanting this loop to cool the base. So I have a sensor here saying... Green if below 150 degrees for the water. Uh, maybe that's a bit much. Thermo sensor. I think it's like an ambient sensor. It's not specifically the like water in a pipe or something. So if this gets as high as 150, we're not going to run the aqua tuner. Just so that there's a cap on that. Um... Maybe we should also check the temperature of the water coming out of here. If it's actually, like, freezing, we should stop. Monitoring the temperature in the room. I checked the liquid temperature. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. I was thinking I should do that as well. I didn't necessarily expect it to get that hot in here, but I wanted a safeguard against it. I hate how they swept away some of those tiles of water and then left a few. What's this? Liquid pipe is broken. What kind of liquid pipe is it? It's made out of sandstone. Should probably make that out of... Igneous rock? Oh, that doesn't even go anywhere. broken because you're freezing the water going in. It's actually the output pipe um, that's broken. Liquid pipe contents negative 9 degrees. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Didn't I have a temperature sensor here? Yes, but no. Um, automation. We're limiting this. I don't even remember. Oh, I see. So this is our cooling loop for the metal refinery. And if the temperature of this water is above 24 degrees, we pump it up here to be cooled. Otherwise, we pump it into the metal refinery, and it comes back through here, I suppose. I guess you could have even more controls on it, like, depending on the temperature coming out of here, it goes through the aqua tuna or not. A 
Is it done? It is not done. It's taking a lot of cycles to replace those power wires. Why isn't this being scheduled? I definitely put that there before. Oh, I can't. It won't let me. Okay, there we go. Only have to add one more piece of maybe what wire. Hopefully we don't let too much hydrogen out of there. Is there ever water running through that automation detector? Yeah, it's detecting this pipe, I think, or liquid pipe thermo sensor. Yeah, the water goes up here. No, wait. Wait, what? Hmm. Is, isn't this like just a T, or not a T, but a corner and a dead end here, and then this goes past here? If this... If water comes in here and this is at a certain temperature, water coming past here is going to affect it, right? But... Could probably do better. Something like this. Automation wire. Uh, something resistant to temperature, please. I guess overheat temperature doesn't actually matter here. So we could use lead for that. And then this bit gets removed. Um, should this be insulation pipe? I don't think so. That makes a bit more sense. And I could probably... I'm not, not going to be able to put this on the ladder, am I? Can I just remove the one piece of ladder and they'll jump across it? There's a bridge in the way as well. And we'll see how that goes. How's our build coming along? We're almost there. Kind of. also needs power. Did we get the automation wire. Fantastic. What is this? Oh, is this reachable? Yes, it is. Yeah, we got a ladder right here. What's that ladder made out of? Plastic, maybe? Can we do that yet? Plastic ladder. Run speed plus 20%. Uh, 50 plastic? And I thought 3.5 tons was a lot. Jeez, so we can do, what, um, 10, uh, 
like 70, I think. Tiles of plastic ladder. With what we've got already. I guess that could be worse. What are we printing? Uh, oxalite, sure. Just let that off gas. Oh wow, okay, okay. Um, speaking of oxygen... Um... Uh... How much algae do we have? Zero. Yeah, we ran out of algae and this thing hasn't been running because it's been taking a surprisingly long time to upgrade the wires. Is this... is this working now? Is it connected? Have I... Okay, sweep job. Get that water out of the way, please. We need someone on that generator immediately. There's basically no hydrogen in the loop. Power is finally finished. I think. What is this icon telling us? No power consumers. That doesn't sound right. Um, what about the automation wire here? That is still fine. Uh, this is already priority nine. How much coal do we have? 21 tons. Okay, uh, so this is an emergency. Resupply the coal. But why does it say there's no consumers? We've got a battery here. Power. It's definitely connected. all of this connected? Yes, it... Except for this, yes, it is. Um... Are people allowed through here? No. Wait, why can't I... Okay. Oh, because it's, like, open all the time. I guess that's why that's grayed out. What do you mean... No power consumers, though. Oh, there's a little bit that's not built here. And this this bit's not connected. I see. Okay. So that's... That's top priority as well. And this. Can't believe it's come to this. They've taken so long to replace these wires. Um, we need to unflood this as well. That's also super high priority. And I think that just about does it. Can we also get some algae? Did we not dig it up already? I mean... Yes, but also no. What is that? A weight plate. Security door. It's gonna shut when someone stands there, I guess. We've got other problems. Um, can I get some more algae from somewhere? Real quick. Yes, but not really. Up 
you go. There's still some oxygen up here at least. That's not saying much. Construction. Okay. Maximum priority. We do have iron oh, wait, what is this being made of? Coal generate heavy what wire properties iron ore. Okay. So it's not like it somehow got queued up with copper or and it's not gonna get built. Uh, we've got the coal generators running, but they still haven't connected the power. Finally. Okay. Okay. I think... I think our electrolyzers are working again. Why isn't this one working? Oh, right, because it's not supposed to until until the battery charge reaches a certain amount, I think. Yeah, not gate. Inverting the battery uh, signal. Because otherwise we get more of a sputtery behavior while, while the thing is getting started. Alright, we got a little bit of hydrogen in. And they still haven't connected these power, pol uh, power things. What part of emergency don't you understand? I guess there's not a whole lot for the hydrogen generators to do just yet. But nevertheless, I don't like to see that bit of hydrogen wasted. Who's getting scalded? We are 73% on damsel. Rest up. So let's just confirm again. Uh, heavy wire properties, copper ore. That's what I was worried about over here. Okay. Oh, it's telling us with that icon. Uh, insufficient resources. Lovely. Um, heavy what wire, iron ore. Get that replaced. And priority. Yes. I think the let. Uh, I think that's just about the last thing we have set to emergency priority. So we are getting some oxygen pumped down. Not a whole lot just yet. Not until pressure is maximized here. Hey Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oxygen seems to not be included anymore, indeed. They just took so much longer than I expected to replace these uh, wires, which we need for our power system. I mean, for our oxygen system. All right, are we good? Everyone getting scalded. I think we're good. It's gonna take a little while to saturate the base with oxygen. Uh, especially because it's gonna take a little while to get our uh, 
hydrogen saturated again, which is part of how we keep the battery full enough to run both of these. The active tuner above is wasting power, uh, but it's... Wait, it's running when there's no water? How is it running when there's no water? It's on a separate power network anyway. But I'm not clear on how it's running when these pipes are empty. Oh wait, we do have some water here. Uh, I could disable... I could disable the metal refinery for now. Oh, and I didn't configure this yet, so if temperature above, I don't know, 25 degrees, then if this is, if this water here is above 25 degrees, let it through here to go to the cooler. The shut-off piping isn't even built properly? What do you mean? Oh, like that? I literally can't even see it here. Okay. More importantly, do we have oxygen? Yes, we do. It is blowing into the base. Who is getting scalded? Someone's down to 87, 69. That's bad. Cheap, say meh. Get healed. Why are they all coming in here? Uh, we did leave some copper in here, but until they're all healed, I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Hydrogen is slowly accumulating. More importantly, oxygen is flowing. I think it's probably about time. I mean, that yeah, that was the point of adding all of this heavy-duty wire. Um, it's about time we increase... our electrolyzer build. And that might actually... I was going to say that might actually be enough to consume all the water that this geyser makes, but maybe not. Next dormancy is in 20 cycles. I guess we're going to find out. I might have to start taking water from uh, the steam vent up here. Which gives us a whole other problem. Actually, it's not even that hot compared to what comes out here. So that might... It's been dormant for a while, that's probably why. Do we lose heat to space? I would imagine so, but apparently not. Oh. No, space cooks us. Apparently we are close enough to a sun. That space is not a place to lose heat. Okay. Um, let's remove this. 
And we're gonna want some automation wire. Let's see, automation wire. Is lead okay? Yeah, it doesn't actually affect minimum temperature. So that needs to go to all the way to the left on the hydrogen generator. And then we're going to need another electrolyzer plus two gas pumps. We'll do some more insulation. Maybe I shouldn't dig out those parts. Eh, it's fine. Uh, we're going to need another gas filter, I think. And let's see, you're filtering hydrogen. We could do it this way. If I take the gas from these two, filter hydrogen, send it straight up here, and send the oxygen down here, the oxygen will just combine with the other oxygen packets, which is most of the packets in these pipes. So it shouldn't cause a problem? Question mark? We'll see. So this will go here. Uh, this go here. We'll do our T intersection like this. Like we did down here. What about water? Should probably use insulation pipe here. In fact, yeah, that should all be insulation pipe, I think. Uh, power. Goes here. So we've got power, water in, gas out. Um, and I'm going to have it on the same automation circuit as these ones, which uh, doesn't doesn't kick on until we've got a certain amount of charge in the battery. So that if we're bootstrapping, it's just these ones that are running. So they'll be more consistent. Oh, and we'll need some power over here, and then like so. And let's not forget this piece of pipe right here. That should probably be okay. How's our oxygen now? Better? I mean, it's not terrifyingly deadly levels. Not everyone is sleeping in a cloud of carbon dioxide, so there's that. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, can we get this done and get out of survival mode so that we can get back to new engineering mode again? 
Uh, I'll just put this at like priority six in case I want anything else prioritized. 102 pipe is only enough for 10 dupes. Uh, well, we've got. Oh, do you mean this right here? Uh, that is probably the worst place we could have this manual generator at this point. Why don't we move it? What's the temperature like? I could run pipe all the way down here for convenience. I mean, heavy watt wire. It's probably going to take them a surprisingly long time to finish that. Um, where else is cooler? It's close to the heavy watt wire. We could just put a manual generator here, actually. The dupes aren't going to have to use it most of the time. It's only to get this system started. And even then we've got coal. Uh, hydrogen is continuing to accumulate. Fantastic. Uh, can we crank up the priority on this one? What's it being made of? Gold amalgam. How much have we got? 17.5 tons, lol. Alright, priority 9. Uh, we're still kind of treading water, oxygen wise. But considering we haven't actually. We've barely used any algae this time. Uh, it seems like we're getting close to turning the corner to being net positive. Although I'm terrified of what's going to happen uh, in 19 cycles when this thing goes dormant if we run out of this water here. Just have to get water from somewhere else, I suppose. We do have quite a lot of water lying around, although a lot of it is polluted. I don't particularly want to have to filter polluted water out of here. We already dealt with polluted water and salt water getting in here, and that was enough of a headache to remove. If we do need to add another lane of oxygen pipe coming down, that'll be a good problem to have. We have printables. Uh, I'll take the copper, easy choice. Water geyser is drowning, so it can't vent anymore. Yeah, that's why I made the pool bigger, but um, we're not consuming the water that fast right now. But I think I should actually extend the pool, like, all the way out here, probably. Um, or maybe even bigger than that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I question whether these reserves are going to get us through the dormancy or not down? Yeah, we could go down as well. I, now that I think about it, it's the liquid pump that needs to be at the bottom of the pool. Uh, and we want the water geyser at the top of the pool, so we could take advantage of this space here. Um, we will have to build another pump first. That's not that difficult. 
Might as well try and get ahead of it. Um, let's see. What are we building this out of? Gold amalgam? For the temperature? And... I guess it may as well be nice and close by. Oh. Oh, right, we need one of those. Where can I put it? Like here? Or it's already going up through here, so if I bring it down this way and then we remove that at the right time. So like this. Uh, no, I can't even put this wall here. Okay, so... Put this here. That's probably the path of least resistance. Could we do better? Can I just replace this? I can't. Not without removing the... I don't actually need this pump working all the time. Like, we can have the pump go down for a little bit. So if I deconstruct this heavy watt, replace it with the uh, joint plate, like this. And then we can put the wall here. Just rewire it coming from above by the door. Um... Oh, like up here? I would need another joint plate. But... People are going to get scolded no matter what I do. That's for sure. If joint plates leak heat, I would rather it leaks heat up this way. That's a good point. So we're gonna do something like this. Deconstruct that. Replace. Um, I'll leave the walls out until we're done doing almost everything else. Okay, so... We're not actually gonna have joint plate here, dub. Not gonna remove that yet. Uh, we're going to have our pump right about here. kind of do need to remove the... You know what? We're just going to put the pump over here for now. And then... Pipe. And this will go here once we're ready. How's our power up here? Not keeping up. Uh, that's okay, as long as we're producing oxygen. Mm, it's still not enough, I think. And I mean, I know we're saturating a relatively big area up here before the oxygen spreads more, but still. Someone gonna build this? And we're getting scolded again. Good job. Let's build these two. I imagine the neutronium thermal conductivity is zero. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. Alright, so once... I might leave those there just in case I end up wanting to bring power down. Um... 
Once we're ready, we'll have people come in and deconstruct this and put some put some heavy heavy bot wire here. Sweep before walling it off. Uh, well, they can go around this way, but. Yeah, I can put these on hold, right? No, well, effectively, I can. I don't want to cancel the build when it's been supplied, but we can mark this for sweeping. High priority. Lowest possible priority for these two. And probably that'll get done first. I guess if I do cancel it, even though it's been supplied, it'll just drop on the ground, but then a dupe will probably pick it up and take it to storage. Oh! Steam engine is running! I... didn't see it happen. happen. Turbine too hot. 105 degrees. That is... shockingly cold for a steam turbine. But it is, I don't know, it says it's too hot, but it's clearly working to some extent. It says it's idle, but it's it's doing the animation. Can I see, can we get like a breakdown of this power network with what's producing power? Kind of like in Factorio? I guess not. It's trying to work, but it's too hot. Are you telling me this animation is just lying to me completely? Uh, I'm not seeing any water come out here, so yes, I think the answer is yes. It's the interruption animation. Hmm. Uh, Tio Griva, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sure, mop there as they will not flow down or water. Yeah, it was kind of a force of habit sort of thing. Can I cancel this? I mean, I have to do it this way, don't I? Priority 9. Wait, priority 9 cleaning. There we go. That energy tab has it to some degree. Energy tab. If you scroll down, power consumers, and batteries, power generators, steam turbine. Everything's at zero watts right now, it's not just the steam turbine, that's weird. What if I click here, energy, yeah apparently nothing is generating, except for the manual generator, but surely the coal how is there no coal in here? This is top priority, basically. And we've got 12... Ooh, that's scary. We've only got 12 tons of coal. That used to be, like, practically infinite. I didn't think we would actually reach the point where we're consuming our coal too fast. Um, but we can stop consuming it to make plus to how we're what the... There's no coal here either. We're going to keep it that way for now. We've got how much plastic? Only half a ton. Oh, I guess this is considered unreachable. Yeah. We've actually got, like, almost four tons. Um, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna pump coal into our plastic production for a while. Bonk?
the aqua tuner above running isn't helping with power. It's on a separate power network. It is consuming coal though, I suppose. Uh, we'll just disable this for now. We're not actually doing any metal refining. Sound alerts aren't working either? Sound alerts? What do you mean? You don't mean this, surely? Tio Greva, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They still haven't built this? Are you serious? Primary element lead. Wait, what? Heavy what wire? Iron ore. We've got a million iron ore. I queued this up 600 years ago. Title is part four when it should be part five. Uh oh. Uh, let me check that real quick. Oxygen not included. Part. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's fix that first of all. I have to remember to change the VOD title. Okay. Um, I don't know how they've taken so long just to build these two pieces of wire. We've got our coal supplied again. We're down to 11 tons. That's honestly pretty scary. Um, I should probably make sure our hatchlings are happier. Let's get rid of the old ones. Apparently murdering them is what makes them happy. Combat. Oh, right. Are you still glum? Starving? Oh, crap. Copy settings. I don't think I want to copy settings to that one. What is this supposed to be? I don't know. Maybe I'll just remove that. Okay. Now that we've murdered some of them, they are happy. Hopefully that'll crank up our coal production. Did we get our wires? We did. Oh, and apparently the wire didn't have to go that far. What is the problem here? No gas intake. Oh, I forgot this uh, gas pipe. Not that it's going to matter for a while. We need more hydrogen in the system. Why is it not going to the left at all? That is rather peculiar. I wonder if it has something to do with this? Because that's the only thing we've changed here. Or is it because of this, actually? I think... I think this gas pipe right here might be the issue. So then we'll want... gas pipe like so? Is that okay? Probably? Maybe? 
someone going to do this? Errands. Uh, and we probably... Undead Hunter is on the way. Fantastic. Okay, so if we remove that piece of pipe... If we remove that... Yep, there we go. Much better. And then we need to do this. And that will probably be okay for the hydrogen to go through there. Now we've actually got the hydrogen generators kicking in, at least for a little while. How much power is on this? Uh, I guess red just means it's more than 2 kilowatts, not that that's a problem. Potential load is only 3.37 kilowatts out of 20. Okay. How's our oxygen? Still pretty bad. Maybe I should put more manual generators here until we get up to speed. That actually seems like a really good idea. How scalded is everyone? Nerita is down to 63. Nerita, get healed. I am suck, get healed because why not? Seems like we're having trouble keeping this in coal. Uh, do I not have... Yeah, I do. I have a coal storage right up here. We're still building this as well. We're not getting anywhere near close to running out of water here. So that's not actually something to stress about. Chlorine? Why is there chlorine in here? Uh, well, we'll just have to deal with that. It'll just get pumped downstairs, I think, eventually. Settings. Apparently we can't do that. Priority 9. We got Dreklet eggs? I don't think I actually want those at this point. I'm actually just going to skip everything. Oh wait, I probably could have used them for food. Whoops. What do we have here? It just says eggshell. It's not specific. Um, I wish I could automate it so that we only keep enough eggs to maintain the population of our hatches. And we use the rest for food, but it doesn't seem to have that kind of granularity with controlling it. We can just set a temporary target, or we can set to do that forever.
If we set it to forever, there's going to be no hatchet egg, hatchling eggs. And eventually, we're, the rest of them are just going to die of old age. Base cooling turbine setup broken? Yeah, we've got higher priority problems. Don't cook me. <laughs> I'm trying. How cooked are you right now? Uh, damsel, damsel. You're only 7% cooked. It's, it's probably fine. Just, just a little, just a little crispy. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So we're aggressively manually powering this thing for the moment. And now the rest of these kick on. I need to copy settings to here, and we also desperately need to f finish this construction. Because the moment we actually get some hydrogen in here, it's going to block everything. Um, although, I guess if we're struggling for power, just running these ones and these ones is probably fine. The base cooling aqua tuner is wasting power. I don't think cooling the base is wasting power. Um, it was getting rather hot before. Although, something I could do... Wait, I should check... How is this broken? Insulated liquid pipe... Well, I can't do better than making it out of igneous. Why is it broken? What? Is it because it's too hot? Uh, 110 degrees. Insulated. Liquid pipe. Out of igneous rock. Overheat temperature plus 15. What, what's its regular overheat temperature? It doesn't say uh, properties temperature I don't think melting point is what we're looking for uh, it really doesn't want to tell us it actually doesn't want to tell us at what temperature the insulated liquid pipe would overheat. Too cold? Okay, that's surprising. <laughs> um, I did talk about doing this before, but... Much to my surprise, we actually need to do this now. Um, let's disable this for now. And we're going to put a sensor. Uh, let's see. Liquid sensor? Where is it? Um, liquid element sensor? That's not what we're looking for. Is it under uh, plumbing? Liquid pipe thermo sensor. That's what we need. Right here. And then... I just realized that because we flipped... Because we flipped the Thermo Aqua Tuner, it actually flipped the automation wire that we already had. So this thing was supposed to say... It, it never actually got to here. The steam temp is 111, so this was irrelevant, but I would still like to... Maybe I should actually turn this off if steam is above, like... If our steam turbine is like four degrees below what this temperature is, then if I use this thermosensor to shut off the aqua tuner the moment we get to 
like 101, 102 degrees. Uh, send green signal if below, let's say, 102 degrees. Then maybe we can uh, maintain the temperature there. Um, we will need to stretch out this automation wire, not with lead. Iron should be fine. And... If I have both of these sensors, is the green signal going to take priority, or the red signal going to the thermo aqua tuner? Also, how damaged is this aqua tuner? Okay, well, let's build this first of all. Someone got scalded already. Sigma Beam. Ben Wu, don't die, please. Oh, Ben Wu, please. Please do not be dying. Who else is badly injured? Pretty much just Ben Wu. How on earth did water get up here, of all places? Uh, I'm losing focus on the survival part. Let's make sure this is working. Uh, looks like it is. Hydrogen passing through there. So we just need to have... Why is there no oxygen here? It's all chlorine. Um, yeah, we just need to get enough coal and manual labor into this to get it to sustain itself with the uh, hydrogen that comes from the water. Okay. Um, they still haven't built this. Figures... Now the liquid reservoirs are getting scalded. Good grief. Who else is getting scalded? I am sir. That is really getting hot. Oh, there's steam out here. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Oh, crap. Okay. Um, should have done this earlier. I don't know how I could have gotten in here to do maintenance, actually. If we already had steam in here without mucking things up. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it. Now everyone's getting scalded. Uh, health is... Benwu's already resting, right? Yes. Health is not looking great. Neritar's on 67. Get in the cot. We're making a sauna now, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, that's... that's a problem. I think we just focus on getting back to surviving and forget about the steam loop for a while. That is quite the mess to clean up. I mean, surely the steam will evaporate eventually, right? I think that's what's happening. Not evaporate, condense. Uh, 
generally you want to get it right the first time. Yeah, that would be ideal. That was the plan. On the plus side, we've got our electrolyzer loop running itself at least for a time during the night. Looks like we are actually having some moments of bottlenecking with the oxygen coming out. I think that was partly because we've got chlorine that we're still cleaning out from here, though. A liquid lock even made of water can work. Yeah, like this. I, I frankly hate that this is way more effective than actually building something, like with a couple of airlock doors. But, um, what can you do? Did we, have we still not built these wires? Are you actually serious? It's, it's been days. I am Sark, could you please heal up? How is everyone else? Uh, Quinn is terrifyingly low on health, actually. Can we change that? Quinn. And I am Sark is kind of low as well. All right, the steam is dissipating, as you might expect. Maybe I should build the steam engine somewhere else. I mean, I want to take advantage of the heat that's already here, though. And if we're going to make an area hot, it may as well be this place that's already hot. We've actually got hydrogen buffered up in these two. Is it... Okay, oh yeah, yeah, these are disabled because the battery isn't low enough. And then... away it goes. Yeah, hydrogen's looking good now. I think it was... Uh, a good idea to just triple down on having some manual generators to help get it started. It's actually fully backed up. Well, it was for a second. Now, do we have to double up our oxygen output pipe? It would be nice if we do, kind of. I mean, it's, I was going to say it's like 90 something percent uh, backed up with oxygen, but once I look closer, we actually see it's chlorine packets that are stopping the rest of it. So yes, uh, I think we actually need to dig some more in order to have our oxygen output. Um, so I guess, question is where to do it. How do we get through our regretty spaghetti? I need a longer, uh, gas bridge. We could go over to the, no, we can't actually. If I do it here, gas bridge to the right, and then... 
I don't love that we have to cut away all this abyssalite, but... I don't think the... Like, we've already got a hole in it. It's not going to make that much difference. So, if... Uh, let's see. This goes... He what a mess. Oxygen goes here. And here. Because it goes past here to get cooled. Down here. Okay. I th think there's only really one option here. We gotta go... Through there, uh, and then down this way, and cut this out. Um, and it should probably be insulated gas pipe. It goes down this way. So like that. And then we're going to have to put a bunch of tiles here, I guess. Because I can't jump over these two. That's something to bear in mind next time. Generally, don't put pipes next to each other. Since we can only jump over one tile. I could bring it through here, but then I would just have to build out ladders over this way. Um, so that's not really going to help. I can't block swap this, it's going to drop water. Um, I could maybe do that first. And then we'll, s we'll put this tile in here. A little bit later. Whoops. 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 There we go. No, I don't want to dig through my park. Ah. Oh, what a shame. I guess I could bend one of these pipes. What do I hate less out of these options? I think if I can just get this pipe over to this outlet here, that's probably enough. Or, wait, I can't build a gas bridge here and not, like, break this tile, can I? Is that an option? We're about to find out. And there's actually like a couple of outlets over here. So that should be fine. And if I really want to, I could bring it over this way as well. Or it's probably better if I do that in the first place. Okay. But we are doing almost one full pipe of oxygen. Um, it's not quite enough. I mean, I think looking at the patterns of carbon dioxide in the bedroom over here, I think it probably is enough, it's just not as much of a surplus as it would take for me to be comfortable. Airlocks work better if you keep it shut. I mean... If... I, I would like it better if actually building an airlock, as opposed to having a weird glob of water, uh, was more functional. 
The, the glob of water just looks very strange. If you want to build one, you'd actually need a pair of man a pair of airlocks and a air pump to suck all of the oxygen or whatever out of the room. And that's 240 watts, right? I think. Yeah. 240 watts just to do that. Uh, not to mention the space that you need and so on. Or you could just have a weird drip of water. It's silly, is all I'm saying. Oh, I forgot the tiles over here. I guess it doesn't matter if this is insulated. I hate that too. Yeah. Is no one going to repair these? Oh, it's because it's missing tile? Or are they not going to repair the heat damage reservoirs until they break? No research selected. Uh, sure. What are we researching? How about this thing? Whatever it is. Just tick these things off. We're actually getting shockingly close to needing the last kind of research before we can research anything else. Okay. Hydrogen is still backed up. Fantastic. Um... We'd better fix this first, otherwise the water won't flow. And how have they still not built this? How's everyone's health? Uh, 28. Undead Hunter. You are healing, at least. Okay, cool. What about... Bean is down to 64. I am Sark, 44. That's scary. Why can't I click on him? I, I, I can't... I don't know where I am Sark is, but the moment one of these beds is free, here we go. I am Sark. Get in there. There's our water flowing again. And why is everyone making a mess? Or well, someone is making a mess. Uh, what? Did I not get rid of this bridge? It's probably about time we do that. But are you telling me that none of the water here was going up to the toilets? A little bit is. Uh, it's going to the hospital toilets. Okay. So from now on... Is our pump gonna get some power? There we go. It's already highest priority. There's not enough air down here. It's actually, yeah, it is getting better. There's almost no CO2 in the bedrooms. So even without adding that extra pipe, uh, we are getting there.
All right. Someone gonna run our high priority manual generator over here? Why did you run that one for two seconds? That is suboptimal. We got printables. Uh, I don't think a slickster lava in the base is what we're looking for. We've got a couple of slicksters downstairs slowly making oil for us already. What's that? Dusk cap. Uh, we've got four of them now, actually. Do your thing, Slicksters. We're actually running out of the oil that we had here as well. A little bit surprised by that. Um, how did we end up with... That is some very strange water physics. We've got like 12 tiles of water horizontally and then just nothing on this flat surface. Maybe instead of a pump here, I should have just had a grate. Maybe I should just put this here and get rid of the pump. Wait, are we filtering the water? No, we're not. Yeah, that's a bit easier. Is that a tiny bit of regular water? Uh, just here? There is, yes. Uh, over here we're actually running out of regular water, but it does get filtered through the water sieve and come back to be not polluted. Although, yeah, our weird Neapolitan polluted water and then regular water is giving us trouble again. So I have to move this all the way over here, I think. I don't know why it doesn't just mix. I mean, I guess I know why. Um, okay. So we need to deconstruct this one. I guess we'll prioritize this. Next to the polluted? Do you mean do you mean here in our reservoir? It's actually so this is supposed to spit out clean water. And this spits out whatever gets this is polluted water. So why is all of this clean water over here and polluted water over here? I thought it looked a little blue. Uh, down by the natural gas pump. Natural gas pump. Uh, this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of regular water here. Right there. Yeah, I don't actually understand why this is spitting out clean water, apparently. Like, this right here outputs clean water. I don't think we have anything outputting to this pipe at this point. I'm actually lost in my own uh, base at this point. Maybe that's blocking it? Well, the thing is, the pump was sucking in polluted water, which was only... It was coming through the water sea and eventually coming back as uh, regular water here, but 
then it just keeps sucking in more polluted water because this doesn't like slosh around as you might expect. We just end up with polluted water on one side and regular water on the other. Well, that's a... That is not a fine place to make a mess, actually. But why don't I see the fluid that... Uh, the crude oil didn't get polluted, apparently. So there's that. Can we get this finished? Insufficient resources? What do you mean? It shouldn't have let me place the plan if I didn't have sufficient resources. Where did our iron just go? How, how, how do we suddenly have zero iron, allegedly? There's a bunch of iron ore on the ground here after I cancelled that. We had like tens of thousands of iron. Like, like 30 tons or something. So, where did it go? We didn't accidentally turn it all into refined iron, surely. No, there's only 595 kilos. I don't think I queued up that much of it to be built either. What is this supposed to be made of? Properties... nothing. Oh, here it is. Iron ore. That's probably why this hasn't been built. I guess we did queue it all up to be used, apparently. Um, let's see. This is made of iron. We have zero iron ore left. This is made of iron ore. So if I go copy gold amalgam, that's not how that happened. I'm actually a little bit surprised there. Okay. So, do I actually need to build a bigger steam room to keep the Thermo Aqua Tuna away from the steam turbine? You can only... You can only have one tile separating the rooms. So it's not like we can have more insulation. Maybe I can make the insulated tiles out of... What did I make this out of? Granite. Uh... Overheat temperature plus 15. I could have made it out of igneous rock, I suppose takes longer to overheat. I don't know how much... I don't know if that would help indefinitely. These are thermally reactive. We don't want that. So is insulated tile made of igneous rock the best we can do? To block the um, heat? I guess that means... I should probably just deconstruct this one and build it somewhere else. We really do need a transformer just so that we can use the stupid little conductive wire that only wants to accept two kilowatts so that we can have uh, insulated tiles all the way across here. 
But yeah, I'm thinking a larger room, a taller room, with the Thermo Aqua Tuna down the bottom. Uh, so then the steam rises up. Probably we get less heat conducted to the steam turbine as we flash water to steam. Anyway, we have other problems. We have way too many other problems to sort out before we can... before we have the luxury of performing science again. Still making a mess. Have we really not got water coming up here yet? They still haven't built this? Okay. I guess I lost the priority when I replaced it. How is everyone doing health-wise? Bean is down to 69. That's as bad as it gets. How's our oxygen? Um, still sketchy, but not a dire emergency. Alright, we got water. It is going... Some of it is going up to the toilets. Fantastic, we have that basic necessity covered again. Let's mop all this mess up. a lot of it. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of hydrogen. Excellent. Doesn't that mean you should have finished running on the manual generator by now? I guess not, because if the battery gets low enough... I, I should set these to zero. If the battery gets empty, we want tubes on these as a very high priority. But normally, if we have coal and or hydrogen, uh, the battery should only get down to 5% or so. Why are you sleeping up here? We have enough beds. We've had enough beds for a long time. Toilets and showers are working. Fantastic. Probably about time I came up with something better to power all of this mess down here. What is that? Oh, it's a deodorizer. How is there only one generator connected to all of this as well. That seems a little strange. We could probably... How much refined metal do we have? Not that... Oh, lead. We've got lots of lead. 
temperature isn't a problem here. Let's use lead and upgrade all of these wires. Uh, well, this is obviously a shorter path. And this as well. Remove that. And... We need more than like 800 watts here. Like overall, maybe. One thing at a time. Let's make that a slightly above average priority. And now that I look at the time, it is well overdue that we have a little break. Um, I guess I've been a bit distracted by the constant state of emergency since we... Pretty much well and truly ran out of algae. Like, to dig up more of it is getting to be more and more of a hassle. Um, and we're going to run out of it anyway. So I really want to get the oxygen supply at net positive for 16 dupes just from consuming this water. Also, we're probably getting close to... We've got 10 cycles left until this stops producing. Hopefully our storage is going to be sufficient. They still haven't built this. We've got gold amalgam, haven't we? 16 tons. People are not allowed through here, that's why. Okay, but for now, let's do some words on stream. We'll start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
One more. One more. Why so hard? I know, right? How is that level 6? Alright, let's continue with Oni. Alright, let me just pause this. There we go. Alright, let's... Let's come back and face this with a bit of a fresh look at things. Uh, we have our oxygen. It's not great, but it is probably, maybe, keeping us alive. I really want to get this pipe uh, setup finished. Are you stuck? You are stuck. Okay. Build this as quickly as possible, please. I guess it's not an emergency, he's not actually going to suffocate. Pro probably. How scolded are we? Mm, not that bad? How's our heat up here? It's about what you would expect. It's slowly, slowly returning to normal around this area after that steam issue. The anagram was Council? Rip. And... How high a priority did... Oh, it's only priority 5. Well, there's your problem, kind of. Can they dig... Can they build this through that tile? I think they can. And that's actually all we need. Except for... We need to replace this. I guess it's not going to... Why is that empty? Uh, I guess it's not going to get any better. And we should probably just build that as well. And then I'll make the pipe section here. Priority 8. And of course course someone dug it away and okay no yes finally uh ben Wu, you are going to die could you please not do that 
We got Ben Wu on 37 health. And Kevin DK on 45. Get out of there, please. Would Atmo suits keep them from getting scalded? Overheat temperature 125. I don't trust that as meaning that they wouldn't get scalded until it's at 125 degrees. Oh, this is the dock anyway. What about the actual suit? Can I click on that? Doesn't look like it. Um, suit. Atmo. Atmo suit. Breathe any, breathe easy anytime, anywhere. I'm I'm shocked that that's the extent of the description here, but I'm going to assume it wouldn't act as heat shielding. Then again, if they... Wait, is there a better kind of suit? I'm sure there is. Jet suit, snazzy suit. So probably not as far as the environmental issue is concerned. Oh, exoscoot. Uh, exosuit. Here we go. There's exosuit forge and training, but there isn't actually an entry for the exosuit itself. I think if they pee in the suit, it's offloaded when they redock. Yes. Um, but more to the point, does an exosuit... Okay, exosuit. Here we go. Data not found? How long have you had to fill this in? You've got a link to it. To the wiki? Why? This is supposed to be the wiki. Why isn't it filled in? Uh... There's a lot of damaged pieces here, but they're not repairing them. Gas pipes that have been frozen, it looks like. Um, they do have other high priority jobs, though. We are building that pipe. Fantastic. In fact, we're only a few sections away from completing it. Um... I would like to put... Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put a split here. So that half of this gas goes to this pipe and half to the other one. And that should cure that little bottleneck. We have no power. Why no power? Why is there no coal here? There we go. We're down to 11.4 tons of coal. Was that at 19 before? Or did we actually gain some? Don't remember. Oh, this thing's broken. Also, I don't think anyone can reach this. So we'll get that built as well. These weird globules of water give me the impression that the dupes are actually on a scale of like ants. But then you look at one tile of liquid and it says it's a thousand kilograms. So... I guess not. There's still mop jobs here that haven't been done. And what's the problem here? Pressure, trunk health. Hmm. Doesn't the arbitrary need carbon dioxide? Uh, air pressure. 
It doesn't care if it's carbon dioxide or not. 150 to 10,000. Uh, can I... How do I see how much air pressure is here? There's 173 grams of carbon dioxide. Is that more air pressure than the same amount of oxygen? Or is it not enough air pressure? What's the minimum? 150... Can I mouse over this and see the air pressure? There we go. It's actually too low. That makes sense. One kilogram of air is good. Yeah. So it's actually not enough. Even though it's carbon dioxide, there's not enough gas here. Weirdly enough. Uh, all of these have halted for pressure as well. We're down to like 30,000 calories. So even if we don't run out of oxygen... Um, we really do need to get this system finished. Otherwise we'll fall behind on calories. Oh hell yeah Oni, what we doing tonight? Glad the imploded. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We, uh, we were supposed to be doing experiments with steam turbines, but we're desperately trying to survive. Um, why are people making a mess again? What? They haven't done any of this? What? Okay. Okay. Desperately trying to survive should be the entire tagline for this game. Yeah. Desperately trying to survive while trying to figure out engineering problems. It's a winning combination. I know my uh, all of my best and most refined Factorio builds come from when I'm playing the hardest possible biter settings I can come up with with mods. That's how that works. Okay. So now because that upgrade plan is taking so long... Um, we're in a different kind of trouble. What are we printing? Sure. Shine nymph eggs, why not? Can I make food out of them? I can. Let's do that. Cramped. Uh, you can be food. Uh, you are a bit young for that. You can be food. Can I set, um... Can I set things really specific with the auto wrangle... Uh, with the credit drop-offs. Like, can I have a room where we only bring old hatches? Doesn't look like it. Did you ever get that oil well from the bottom left of the screen? Uh, yes. Yeah, we've pumped up quite a lot of oil, actually. We're getting a bit low here. Um, but because we're getting short on coal... I switched it off for now. We've also got more plastic than we know what to do with it for a while. I mean, other than converting all the ladders to plastic ladders, which would be really expensive. Um, yeah, we're not doing... What is this? Oh, wait. That's going to let gas through. That's why I had a pump here. You absolute derp. Let's put this back. And, whoops, 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 uh, no, but 
this back, please. Maybe I should trust my previous designs a little more before assuming that it was that easy to improve on them. Uh, luckily, the natural gas is lighter than the oxygen here, so it's not escaping. It's also lighter than the carbon dioxide. Okay. Uh, where are we going? We're very much not bottlenecked on the output pipe or the oxygen now. We've also got rid of that chlorine, it looks like, so that helps as well. Oh, no, I see... Uh, I thought this was off-gassing chlorine, but I don't see it there. Oh, yep, there's a little bit of chlorine. That'll sort itself out eventually. Why is this thing not running? Oh. Wait, no, that's not O. Oh. That should be working. The automation wire is not connected to the filters. And they're always powered. So what's the problem here? Oh, this gas output is... Huh? So this pipe right here is full, and then this filter is... claims its pipe is blocked? But I don't see any reason why its pipe would be blocked. Content 600 grams of oxygen, okay. And then this goes up. Is it because this is blocked? That's probably why. Can I not prioritize fixing this? It's made out of sandstone, so there's no chance we've run out. What the? Why is it being laggy? Uh, I, I stand corrected? Are you actually telling me we have zero sandstone? Okay, that is surprising. I suppose we could replace this with igneous rock. Um, first haste, please. I just never considered that we would actually run out of sandstone. Um, is it even worth... Like, if we dig up some more of it, we're going to run out of it eventually. And... Well, there's no harm in it. So that's moving again. That's good. Scalding. Not too bad. Made a mess. Oh, could you? Why is our water still not getting up here? Because this still hasn't been built. Did we not priority nine this? Don't tell me it's swapped, like, how much lead do we have? We've got a lot of lead, so it, it's not that we laid it out in a resource that we've now run out of. Um, it's definitely accessible. Is this... yeah. 
It's definitely accessible. Unbreathable. Yeah, no, that's not enough to stop them from building this. Or is it? Depending on how, how far they have to go before they can breathe, that might actually stop them from building that? Question mark? It doesn't seem to be far enough, especially here. Um, I want to run this little experiment. See if someone comes to build that. Veldak is supplying it. And... Yeah, judging by the amount of time they're spending here, that's definitely not the issue. I didn't have any other priority 9 builds at the time, so I don't understand why setting it on emergency they suddenly get this done. Uh, okay, apparently they only get a little bit done and then they give up. Just to be clear, we still have... Now we're out of lead. Okay. If the game is going to somehow... If we're going to get a scenario where we've queued up something to be built, and then we run out of that resource, it should at least let me plan out like a steam turbine when I've not when I don't have any plastic like pick one can we ban Veltek? what? if everything is emergency priority nothing is, yeah I know that West dude, good to see you again, welcome welcome hope you're doing well, I like my yolks runny not fully cooked is this what the Ban Veldak thing is about? Okay. So, we have to change what resource we're making this out of. We've got 2,900 copper, actually. This, I don't care anywhere near as much. So, let's do that. Yeah, like, if the game is going to prevent me from planning out a steam turbine because I'm missing plastic or something... Uh, I should at least be able to have the confidence that if I plan something out, it's not going to run out of resources on me. Yellow alert. Oh, yeah, yeah. Made a mess. Again. Is no one going to build this? Insufficient resources lead. Did I not just replace this with copper? Is that not how that works? Don't tell me I have to cancel all of this and then put it there again. Apparently. Priority, yes. And I don't care when this gets done. Now, are you going to show me that there's no resources? Apparently not. Are we going to run into any other problems first? Doesn't seem that way. 
Did we get it done? We actually got it done. Alright, and these are... My priority, 80%. All right, can we actually get some water pumped up to our bathrooms again? It stopped because there's no power for the filter. And everyone's asleep. We got it done, huzzah, indeed. You have to cancel, replacing like that only works on already built stuff, I see. All right, we are finally pumping some water again. How's our power here? Not good enough. Um, I guess I could squeeze in another generator. have water in the bathrooms again. Finally. Let's clean up the mess. Again. I don't think we have to worry about that water. Alright, how's our temperature? Uh, suboptimal because we haven't been running that loop. Can we at least grow food? Uh, some of it. Fertilization is actually the problem here. Uh, I guess we're digging into more of our finite resources. Where is that pinkish purplish stuff that, uh, that gives us fertilizer? Or is it bluish? I think it's bluish. Where is it? Is this it? Sedimentary rock. Granite. Uh, what's the materials overlay? Here we go. Might be a bit easy to find. Filtration medium is not what I'm looking for. Uh, so mineral is probably not it either. Cultivatable soil? Phosphorite. Does that give us fertilizer? I think it does. Uh, where's our machine? I think we have a machine for making fertilizer. Yeah, here we go. Uh, phosphorite plus polluted water equals fertilizer. Alright. So, phosphorite is the pink stuff. There's a pretty big chunk of it over there. There's quite a lot of it here, actually. Um, although we do need uh, suits to come and get it. Even so, I think that is probably easier for now. And... I guess I'll have to add some ladders and stuff. Do we have any way to produce phosphorite as opposed to slowly running out of it? We've got lots of these bugs like to eat it. That's not great. Pinch of pepper. Oh, the Drekos make phosphorite. 
Maybe I should have taken those extra Drekos. I think we're kind of full on Drekos for the moment, though. Where are they? I've only got one room for the Drekos. Overcrowded Glum. Uh, would they be happy down here? Probably. I think I saw their temperature range before. Properties, no. Status. Uh, status. Do I need to go here? 35 to 90 or 15 to 110. That's pretty easy. All right. Let's give them a place to live. Get a drop off. Uh, we don't actually need to give them a food dispenser. We need to give them meal wood. Uh, is it going to grow in here? 29 degrees? Yes, it is. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let's add a grooming station. Okay. So once that's built, we'll copy our settings to drop off Drekos there. Um, we do want to get rid of the extras. I suppose if I had an auto wrangle surplus and just one of the rooms got rid of the creatures, that would be one way to manage it. They'll eat right from the plant, yes, and they actually won't eat, like, if you take the mealwood off the plant and give it to them, they won't eat it that way. Uh, let's see. I think... Yeah, if it says, for example, pinch a pepper plant, balm lily, mealwood, like this, uh, it means they have to eat from it directly. BG Nyman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're fine. Yeah, uh, not too bad. The, uh, what's it called? The booster side effects uh, actually wore off pretty quickly. Like, I had a rough night, but after that, pretty much fine. This is bottlenecking in a way I didn't really expect. So we're actually at max pressure here already, but... But this is getting... okay. Uh, I guess we can spaghettify our pipes a bit more here. Might be one way to go about it. Um, in fact, I think I want that to be a high priority. If if our oxygen is bottlenecking on oxygen output, uh, and we're still waiting to fill up the base, then yeah, absolutely. Good to know, indeed. Uh, that's one thing chat helped me out with. That's the kind of hint I don't mind, because I was about to just try to feed the mealwood directly. What do we got here? Portrait canvas. And it requires metal for some reason. And also reed fiber. Marble block. Granite or obsidian. That's quite cheap. Oh, it's kind of big. I can't see it now. Uh, what else? Are, we're probably not researching at the moment. Yes, we are.
environmental appreciation. Duplicants can relax by lounging in sunlight. That's got to take a lot of power. All right, our water thing is saturated, finally. Maybe I should have a reservoir that's on the way to the bathrooms. So that if there's some interruption in the supply, it's going to take a long time before that manifests as a problem. Our electrolyzer loop is speeding up. We've actually got one of the hydrogen... I was going to say we have one of the hydrogen generators saturated, but that was temporary. And the oxygen is not bottlenecking. Uh, yeah, no, this is fine, because if this gets blocked, this comes down here. Okay. We're seeing some more air on this side of the base, and this is coming down here faster as well. Fantastic. I think we're going to survive a while. What do we have here? Pullet egg? What is a pullet? A oh, pufflet. Puffedlet. I think I read this earlier. Puffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it consumes polluted oxygen. Uh, or it can consume chlorine to make bleach stone. Interesting. Uh, it can also just consume oxygen. It makes oxalite, though. That's interesting. I saw a bunch of puffs flying around at various times today. I saw them sucking up uh, polluted oxygen. I hope they're not going to... I hope they're not going to make an impact on our oxygen supply, but I think with the way we've got things set up now, we should be able to keep up regardless. Okay, how's our coal? We're down to three tons. That's actually terrifying. Um, can we actually wrangle enough hatches uh, to make coal faster? Fast enough, that is. What are we feeding them? So we actually ran out of sandstone. Oh, we were only feeding them sandstone. And we're down to like our last two tons or so. Uh, okay. We're just running out of everything. One thing at a time. I don't know, should we... If I don't keep the hatches, we're going to run out of... Well, not just run out of coal, but we won't even have a trickle. Maybe I should... Run everything off of... Dupe power? Until I can get solar panels or something? Steam is under renewables, but... We've been having just a little bit of trouble with that. To say the least. Oh, I didn't get this automation wire done because... Yes, I did. So... Send green signal if above. I think this should be... Can I not change it to send red sick? I need an inverter just for that. I would love this to be send red signal if above. 
Because my guess is if either of these are giving a green signal, um, then the Thermo Aquatuna is going to run. I think I should just... turn this one off effectively. And this one... Uh, if our output water gets below, I don't know what temperature. How cold did this have to get for there to be trouble? Uh, there's no telling without going to the wiki, I suppose. Primary element iron. What if we click on this? Specific heat capacity, overheat temperature. It doesn't say anything about a minimum temperature. So I'm just going to guess that if it gets to freezing, um, then that's going to be a problem. So we're going to say send green signal if above, I don't know, 5 degrees. So we're going to run the Thermo Aquatuna as long as the output water doesn't get too cold. Uh, I could change it so that we're using conductive wire so that this can be insulated tile so that the steam turbine doesn't get hot as easily. So that it doesn't get over 100 degrees and stop. Um, I was going to say, but I could switch this off once this gets to over 100 degrees. Because there was like a, what was it, 7? 4 to 7 degree temperature difference from here to here. But without adding an inverter, uh, again, I also don't know if one green and one red signal, this thing's still going to run. Maybe I should... Uh, I guess we need like a an AND gate or a NAND gate or something. It's so big. I guess it kind of has to be with the way the circuitry works in this game. Um, so this is the inputs are on the left. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the inputs are on the bottom and the output is top right. So this would be green signal if below 102 degrees. Why can't I type? What? There we go. And this would be green signal if above 5 degrees. And can we squeeze an AND gate? Also... I guess the AND gate has to worry about temperature as well. Copper has plus 50 degrees, so that's probably fine. Outputs a green signal when both input A and input B are green. Yep. So we put this... Can I flip it? Uh, ah. Uh, no? Wait, what? How do I usually flip this? It's R. So I can only rotate it. Apparently. Which means I can't fit this in here. Oh, I could put it here. And then... Can I just put... No, I can't. So if I put this here, get rid of the wire that we've got. This connects here. This connects here. 
and then that goes there. That should be okay. Alright, um, automation overlay, get rid of, get rid of all of it actually, just to be sure. And then, and gate, whoops, why do I keep thinking I can flip? And gate goes here. Made out of copper should be okay. Too much Factorio? Not enough. I'm gonna have to fill this up with water again as well. Um, we can just steal from this pipe again, I guess. I can... Yeah, I could just put a bridge. Uh, if I put a bridge here. And then we can delete that once it's full. And then, if necessary... Oh, there's polluted water in here. Is that a problem? I think we should assume it's a problem. Uh, let's cancel our liquid bridge for the moment. Let's make sure there's only one type of liquid in here. I'm sure polluted water would... I don't know if polluted water would be okay, actually. But definitely we just want one type of liquid. That's going to take a moment. On the plus side, our oxygen generation is looking decent. It's not perfectly consistent, but it is working. More to the point, oxygen is flowing into the entire base. I haven't seen the bedrooms this full of oxygen in quite a while. Uh, if I didn't say so, can be. Good to see you again. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this? There's no algae. Good to see you too. Thank you. Alright, um... I think we've kind of stabilized now. Uh, I, I forgot to solve the problem of feeding the hatches. What are we going to feed them? We've got no sedentary rock. We're about to run out of sandstone. I could dig up some more sandstone, but how long is that going to last? He went to the surface? Yeah. Uh, I didn't actually send a dupe up there, but we got uh, we got a gas pipe all the way up to where there's space exposure. Um, and I'm just pumping carbon dioxide out here sometimes. That 2000 is just how much is in that feeder, not the total in your base. Yeah, but the total in our base is actually zero. Uh, sand, sand, let's try again, sand, stone, zero. So it's a free void? Yes. All you have to do is get the gas up there. Um, uh, maybe I should get in here. Based on what I've seen so far, I don't think anything I find in one of these rooms uh, is going to be that exciting. 
like it's it's not going to be game changing or anything. But we can certainly head over there. Can I just like mark this for deconstruction or something? Yeah, I can. I can change the settings on it as what well. current ambient pressure. Oh, this is different. Wait, what? Weight plate. No, I think this is this tile. Sending a red, red signal. Send green if above or below 10 kilograms. Security door. Can we see the circuit wire? Yes. This is broken. What's this? Cycle sensor. Oh, it's a day or night sensor. Okay. Comfy bed. Nice. Um... This door cannot be manually controlled. We got a... I guess we got a green signal on the automation wire by default. And this is going to send red if toggled. Send a green signal if toggled on. Send a red signal if toggled off. Do I just have to change this? Can I change the setting? I can. So I just change it so it won't toggle. Above 2,000 kilos. Let's try that. And ladder. I need to deconstruct these. And ladder. Okay. What else are we doing? How is everyone's health as they continue to get scalded? Whiskers is on 44. Oh, I think... I think when I can't click on someone... No? I can't click on anyone now. Uh, okay, apparently... If I click here, nothing happens. If I click over on the left, it does something. I was gonna say it means that he's on the cot, uh, on the triage cot, but that's not it. Comfy bed, yes indeed. Zero is pretty low. Uh, what was that for? Brian Reed, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oxygen still could be better, but I'm not terrified at this point. Maybe I will be once we run out of coal. 12.5 ton, did that go up? Did I find coal somewhere else by accident? You're stuck. Why are you like this? There we go. Wait, you're still stuck? Why Why are you stuck? Can you not get past this? What were you doing here if you can't dig? Wait, now you're digging? I don't understand. Okay. I don't like the throughput of oxygen right now. Okay, now it's getting better. He was moving material into the ladder build sites. Okay. And now this is busted as well. I don't think next time I'll be 
building stuff around the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. I'll probably build a big insulated area to deal with, for example, a metal refinery. Oh, did we finish building this? Automation. Uh, yeah, we need to do the wiring. Uh, let's use anything with plus 50 degrees. Uh, should be fine. The wire is still there. It's crisscrossed like this. If I, if I mark this for deconstruction, isn't that going to get rid of the AND gate? Automation wire. It's actually scheduled for deconstruction. We just can't get there. Will this ladder be enough? Or will I have to cut in from the side? I think that ladder's probably enough, right? Ladder will not be tall enough. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Automation wire. Unreachable. Wait, unbreathable. That's carbon dioxide. Automation wire, deconstruction errand. Yeah, it's unreachable. Okay, fine. Let's manually deconstruct these two so we don't get rid of some pipes or something. Uh, Gorohov, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, I guess there's no point to this ladder. And can we then sweep this? Things busted now. Oh, don't tell me. It's made of sandstone. Uh, it's made of copper ore. I thought we had that. We do have that. So why isn't it getting fixed? Does it count as a construction job? And because it's on priority five. Because I have some other job somewhere. It's not getting done. On the plus side, we are gaining some hydrogen. On the minus side, once this runs out of water, if this doesn't get fixed first, uh, we're going to lose our electrolysis. Um, I don't actually need them to mop this up. If it's all unpolluted water. Seems okay. And what about our automation stuff now? That's better. Alright, so automation wire, copper should be fine. And we're going to go here. And here, and here. So, temperature right here has to be below 102 degrees. Maybe I should set that a little bit lower at first. Because I imagine the... Uh, I was going to say, I imagine the Thermo Aqua Tuna is going to operate sort of in chunks of, of work. However, why is it still awaiting repair delivery? Gold amalgam. Don't tell me we're out of... No, we've got nearly 16 tons of gold amalgam. Uh, 
Do we have an errand? I see no errand. Can I not force a repair? Disable auto repair. Is there a repair order? Oh. Damsel's on the case. I don't see a repair order that I can manually build. I can only disable auto repair as far as I can... Oh, I think Damsel was doing something else. Uh... Yeah, probably building our... Automation-wise. Go, Damsel, go repair that stuff. Uh... Oh, it's repaired now. Someone did it, anyway. Alright, so... If the water output is as cold as 5 degrees, we're going to stop using the Thermo Aqua Tuna. If the temperature, like here, reaches 101 degrees, we're going to stop using the Thermo Aqua Tuna. And hopefully we can keep the steam turbine below 100 degrees this way. Uh, if not, we'll have to go to the trouble of using... Uh, transformer, just so that we can use the conductive wire, just so that we can not have the heavy watt joint plate, uh, because it transfers heat a lot more easily than insulated tile. Go, Danzel. Sleep hopefully soon. Good luck. Repair orders just take the machine's priority. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Wait, where is the priority on this thing? I thought I changed it here? Is that wrong? Uh, never mind. Did, is there no job for this? That's why I can't see a priority for it. Alright, so we want, as soon as we've replaced these tiles, wait, 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 I want to sweep this crap right here. I don't want that left in there for all eternity. Can we please get this fixed? Yeah, there was a priority thing down here, but now it's gone. It's under status. Uh, we got printables, we got Hufflet Egg again, Hufflet Egg, num num num, may I recommend trying to sort the Aqua Tuna through a transformer right now, there's heavy watt plates will indeed become a problem. I want to see if I can balance the heat that well first. It's really curiosity. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so are we ready? No, they haven't swept this yet. Priority. Go. Uh, you're not going to be sweeping that one anytime soon. Is there enough storage space? There should be. Yeah, it looks like there is. Otherwise the errand would say something, right? Or maybe mouse over. Um, we are 1.7 cycles away from this thing producing water, so I really need this, these reservoirs fixed. We got our sandstone harvested. Uh... 
actually takes quite a long time to repair. Oh, we got this swept. Fantastic. Uh, and then we're going to put a bridge right here. Uh, preferably after we do the insulated tiles. Fantastic. And there's our water. And we'll deconstruct this just as soon as this is basically full. What was that sound? Why is this broken? Output pipe full. Oh yeah, because we disabled this a while ago. taking a surprisingly long time to fill up but again that just goes back to what is it 10 kilograms in each pipe section and this is a thousand uh etra thank you for the follow welcome welcome hope you're doing well okay so i think i need to reconfigure this Green signal if above 5 degrees. Why isn't it green? Liquid pipe thermosensor. Insulated liquid pipe. Contents empty. Wait. Don't tell me. Current ambient temperature negative 273.2 degrees. Does it think it's at absolute zero because there's no liquid in the pipe? Does that mean I'm going to have to saturate the entire loop for that to work consistently? I mean, if there's a gap, once there's a gap here, this is going to switch off and then it's never going to activate again, right? Yeah, I think I have to fill... I think I have to fill this loop entirely. So... We'll add another temporary bridge. Hold on, that's not where we need it. Um... I could just do it like this, but then it'll be hard to remove. I could do it like this and then remove this tile. That should be fine. What did that say? It really does take a while to fill this. Is this busted? Yes it is. Wait, what is this made of? Gas pipe, properties, igneous rock. Uh, maybe it should be an insulating gas pipe? Insulated. Apparently we have 32k sandstone. Uh, that seems like a lot. That wasn't... We, we didn't just get that from here, did we? Maybe there was a storage that was, like, inaccessible temporarily, but I can't think where that would be. It's a mystery. Only 0.3 cycles before this stops working. Hopefully we've got enough water stored here and here to get through it. Should I stop before this completely fills up? It didn't seem to cause a problem last time. Uh, 
the water's not going this way at all. Weirdly enough. Interesting. I guess... I guess I need a bridge. And then... Something like this. The bridge has priority, right? Maybe I should stop running the anti-entropy homo nullifier. Or maybe I should set... What have I got to switch it off? This thing? Maybe I should just set the thermo sensor on this. Uh, green signal if above negative 32 degrees? Yeah, no, that seems a little excessive. How about we try five degrees? See how that goes. Errands. It's job number two for a couple of people, apparently. If I'm reading that right. Yep, there we go. And what is this saying? Oh, there we go. There we go. Except that doesn't help, does it? Because there's still this gap here. Um, I guess I could... Do this instead. I didn't even have to build anything that just added that piece of pipe there between those two. Alright, that should get the job done. So once this is completely saturated, we'll actually get a signal uh, out of the liquid pipe thermo sensor. It's not going to say absolute zero if there's no water detected. Uh, that's weird. I guess it's not that weird. There's gas in here. I need to change this to... Airflow tile? So that the gas can escape and make room for the water. Can we mop this up? seems to be accelerating. He's getting scalded. Uh, Neurotar is on 63 again. Alright, now the water seems to be flowing again. Nice, and this thing is already saturated. That means our entire loop is saturated, I believe. I just hope it doesn't need a tiny bit of slack, because then I would have to try to empty less than 10 kilograms of water. I suppose I could add a little tiny piece of pipe somewhere and that would have the same effect. Don't tell me this tile's going to get blocked and this gas is going to get stuck. How long is this taking? 
almost full on this tile. I think that is what's going to happen. It's slowly creeping towards... Okay, that's more than a thousand. That should be full, but it's not. 215.8 grams of chlorine does not seem to be escaping. So I guess we have to add an airflow tile here. The gas is stuck, yeah. Even though it looks like it should be able to escape. Okay. Now we're just about good to go. I think that should be enough. We can mark this for deconstruction already. There was a bit of a gap until we added tiles like this last time, and then it sort of filled up the space anyway. And it might be the case that we need a little bit of slack for the whole thing to work anyway. Okay. Wait. Oh no, don't tell me a dupe has to reactivate this. Unreachable. No. What if this is like an airflow tile? I don't suppose they can reach through that. Oh no. And... We're still supplying? How much do we need to supply for one tile? They can't reach through the airflow tile? We're about to confirm that. Yeah. Yeah. What if I put a ladder here? Doesn't that mean... I'm pretty sure... Like, I can't swap this. I can't put a ladder in by swapping this. I'm going to deconstruct this and then it's instantly going to drop debris into here as well, isn't it? Could put a sideways door there? That's actually a really good point. Uh, let's sweep this first. Priority 9. I think the machine works when the door is closed. Uh, it'll have worse insulation, though. It won't let us put this here, actually. Okay. In that case, deconstruct that. If a door is not insulated, it will leak even more heat. Yeah. Or deconstruct the top right two tiles so dupes can get in. Yeah, I was hoping we can just do this one. It's almost night time. They're going to take a break soon. I wish we had more night owls. Is this still counting as... Oh no, I broke it. Let's add a tile there. This is no longer our... park. Night owls? Why would you give... <laughs> Horizontal tiles, that is along the top. What? Tubes don't care what day cycles they're up. It's just you get bonuses with those specific tubes. Okay. Uh, did we get this done? Yes. Can we sweep this stuff? I fear not. Uh, 
is it reachable? Oh, I think they got it. Karen's... Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Okay. Can they reactivate this? Did they already do it? Why, why is it blank on the available errands? Building disabled. Enable building. Errands. I think that works. Happens. Finally. Okay. Let's put this tile here. And we should then be ready to try this on again. So just to review, we've got an ant gate. Uh, we can see it. We've got this input here, this input here, and the output goes to the thermo aqua tuner. Green signal if uh, temperature below 101 degrees. Green signal if temperature above 5 degrees for the output water. If both of those conditions are met, we're going to run the Thermo Aqua Tuner. And since when we did have steam here, there was a few degrees difference between this tile and this tile. I'm hoping, without doing the um, Transformer thing, uh, we can actually just keep the steam turbine cool enough to work with the steam hot enough. So, let's find out. Um, we're a little short on power. No, we're not. Pipe blocked. What do you mean? Oh, it's that thing that I said earlier that I was worried about. Okay. I can either try to micromanage a dupe to... Uh, you know, if I do that, I'm going to add exactly 10 kilos of, like, storage space for the water, right? So I actually need to... Why do I do it? Where's the empty pipe? Extract pipe contents. Okay. We need to be somewhat precise with this. Because we need to output... Does this... Does this do it in discrete packets? The Thermo Aqua Tuner? Like, will it do 10 kilos at a time? I hope not. Uh, the idea is we get rid of, like, less than 10 kilos of water. So that this has water in it, but the pipe output isn't considered to be blocked. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move the, um, uh, the thermo sensor. And we're going to be that much further away from getting this thing working again. Oh, there we go. We are draining water. And it's working. Okay. Is that too much? How do I stop? Let's see if that works. Uh, pipe blocked. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to move the temperature sensor so that there's empty space in the pipes. Probably. Um, can I get you to do this again immediately? Perhaps? Yes. Alright, let's slow time down. And... Don't... 
Maybe I should have moved you here first. Okay. Uh, we want to stop draining water from the pipes the moment that this thing is working consistently. Or I guess just the moment this doesn't say pipe blocked. Unless... I used to be Night Owl, but then I met Damsel and worried about my life. I became an early bird. Oh no. Is this working consistently now? Should I stop draining? Nope, never mind. As soon as we see that red text go away for good, hopefully it'll just keep working. Is the water even flowing through the cooling loop? It seems to be stuck. Uh, it's stuck because there's too much in it, but the reason I'm trying to out, uh, get rid of just a little bit is so that there will still be water in this tile, uh, so that the temperature sensor doesn't report absolute zero. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to move the uh, temperature sensor down a bit, and honestly, at this point, it's starting to look easier to do it that way. Disabled by automation grid. Why is that? Because this thing has no water. So we already reached that threshold. Alright. I think we have to move this. And... I don't suppose we could be so lucky as to be able to finish this build um, without having to dig back in here. Probably not. Because I think we do have to remove this uh, sensor right here. Our oxygen system is looking okay at least. Base oxygen still doesn't look that great. I don't need another hatchling. I don't think we've got any other construction jobs queued, right? Except for these two. So I don't actually need to worry about... setting this as a high priority. Current errand. Fantastic. Cool. Let's sweep this up. Now, is this damaged, or...? It probably is. Errands... There we go. I guess... I don't know why, but with sweeping it doesn't show current errand. Okay, so now... What the...? Where did the water go? Eh? Uh, I guess I need to... I, I guess I need to put some water back in here again? Uh, 
but this time with this layout we can just run this until until that stops. We don't have to worry about timing it or anything. Someone is hurt. 25 Quinn? Heal yourself before you get that low. I've got this set to 100%. A duplicate may not use this cot until their health falls below 100%. Oh, it's working. And... Uh, I guess I did need to... Okay, can we switch this off for a sec? So I, now I actually need to empty, let's say, this part. There we go. Wait, did someone actually empty that, or did it just... Did something happen without intervention? I didn't actually notice a dupe emptying this. Well, whatever the case, we've got water here now and some space for this output. Alright, pipe blocked, but that's actually... Oh, I should have removed the bridge. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Remove water from pipe. And... Is someone coming to do that? Errands... There we go. Alright, so make room for this. Get rid of the bridge, actually. And once we've done that, switch this back on. Once we've done that... There we go. Okay, now we switch this on. And we cool the water. And even though there's space up here, the loop immediately stops moving. Uh, why is... Oh, it's working again. What? If I remove water here until there's a gap there, I think we might end up in trouble. So I guess, once again, switch this off. Empty this pipe. And then... Wait, 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 wait. Why did it move? I didn't imagine it. It moved without any intervention. Is there like... Is there something down here somewhere that is blocking the flow of water? Like, I'm pretty sure it's all just pipes. I didn't add anything that needs power or anything like that. We're just spaghetti piping through all this. And not touching any of the other pipes. And then we come back up here. Green signal. Oh, did I not connect this automation wire? If so, how did it... I did connect this automation wire.
Okay. I don't... I don't understand how we got a little burst of fluid movement. Maybe... Maybe a little bit of water was moving forward through all these tiles and it finally caught up so this bit moves forward? Alright, let's try this. We're getting nothing but green signals. Pipe blocked. Maybe... Oh. Maybe I should have a liquid storage, a liquid reservoir, a uh, reservoir, and then have the sensor on the other side. Now it's moving. I don't understand. Like, this intermittent little tiny burst of movement is the only thing it should not be doing. It should either be stuck, or there should be enough slack to move the whole thing. Unless there's like... I, I think there's a tile that has less than 10 kilograms of water that's like there's a wave effect happening all the way through all of these pipes until it finally comes back up here and or or i guess it travels backward actually yeah the the slight lack of water in these pipes i imagine travels backward through all of these pipes and then it finally gets back here and then says that there's enough space for this to move forward. If that's the case, I should be able to see just a moment of less than 10 kilos of water in this pipe right here, for example. I thought I saw the... I did see the temperature change. Did it just drop to 12 for, like, just a moment? Nope. Oh. This is weird. Okay, um... I think... I think we try to remove a little bit more water. I should probably move the sensor down even further and remove wa more water, but hopefully we can just, like, empty these three and maybe that's enough. So in that case, like this. Disregard? Okay, I want to see what you said anyway. Usually happens because the loop is over full. Yeah, uh, we have made a little bit of space in it, but it's still being a bit strange. Packets of the same type merge in pipes and vents, so a not quite full packet wouldn't mess anything up. Yeah, no, I was imagining that maybe a slight lack of a full packet is like propagating all the way through the pipe network going backward at a finite speed and that's why that's happening but I'm only guessing it would be pretty hard to to find it and prove it with the tools that we have right
How's that oxygen? Pretty bad. Not as bad as it used to be. Alright, can we drain this? I should have cranked up the priority. Okay, so we've got the minimum amount of water in the system to make sure, well, slightly more, I guess, like 10, about 10 kilos more than the minimum to make sure that this always returns a signal. Uh, it doesn't say negative 273 degree, like absolute zero temperature. Let's try flicking this on again. And it's still puts the water here and then stops. Just how much slack do we need in this system? Wait, is it because there's not enough power for this? Does it have to have... I think 10,000 joules should be more than enough for this to run for a second. Yeah, it's not that. Power is off? Yeah, I switched it off because... We were trying to um, empty those pipes. <laughs> no worries. Zaka Luca, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. So, are we going to creep up to a hundred degree water slash steam at this rate? Eighty-five point one degrees. I really think I might actually have to have a liquid reservoir and put the sensor on the opposite side of it uh, to make it flow properly. But if this does get... I don't know. How fast is fast enough? What does the automation say? Um, the automation's always green. Because the, the conditions are... The output pipe has to be five degrees, uh, five degrees or warmer, and the temperature right here has to be less than like 102 degrees. The water is not flowing away from the aqua tuna because it's getting blocked somewhere further down the line. Yeah, I think that's it, but. It shouldn't. Um, like, if we follow the line all the way through the base, we see it's, like, it's just a loop of pipe. There's nothing, there's nothing that, like, needs power or anything like that. There's no, like, T intersections with any other water or anything. Um, it's just snaking its way through the base, and that's all. And then it comes back up. And around up here. And that's basically it. I do notice it seems to be moving a bit more often now. I'm not sure why that would be. You would think it was just sputtering because of power, but then the battery is almost full now and it's still not doing anything. It said the pipe was blocked. Okay, where can we squeeze in a liquid reservoir, I guess? That's gonna be difficult. Um, it's gonna be very difficult. If that, if I put a bridge here and get rid of this pipe and then bridge this way, so, so bridge here and bridge here, then we could stick a reservoir. We can't rotate these, can we? No. We could stick a reservoir here because we'd be able to bridge to it. 
But then we wouldn't be able to put a bridge here, so this would have to go there, or we'd need a bridge like that. Uh, if we have a bridge there, we wouldn't be able to have a bridge there. So this has to go over here, I think. The Unta doesn't complain about pipe full or not enough power. The only thing I see right now is disabled by automation. It's not disabled by automation. Um, it's complaining about pipe blocked for the output. The automation's always green. The tuner, yeah. Simply Coco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I would do a closer inspection of all the connections. This screams messed up piping to me. Uh, I mean... We've got the, the most complicated parts are here, where we're just bridging, 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 bridging. Uh, something similar over here, and then so on. This bit here, we've got a bridge, a bridge, a bridge, uh, a bridge, a bridge, a bridge. A bridge, a bridge, and a bridge. So, no, it's not like colliding with anything else. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna deconstruct this bridge here. Wait, maybe not there. Deconstruct that. Bridge this way. Get rid of that bridge. Bridge this way. And then... Installation pipe like so. Bridge this way. Installation pipe like so. We will of course need tile here. Who's getting scolded? Uh, damsel. Don't get down to 36 health. Where is damsel? Did I... There it is. Okay, who else? Uh, Ben Wu is on 52 again. Get in the triage cut. I understand that it should work in principle. I'm proposing that you might have created a T-junction somewhere by accident. It can sometimes be hard to see at a glance. Yeah, no, I was very careful about that. Um, also, we would be seeing... Uh, we'd be seeing it go somewhere else, basically. Especially... I think all of the pipes that it might collide with up here des definitely... That is polluted water, so that would have caused a problem that we would see pretty quickly. Uh, here as well, that should be polluted water. Yeah, it is polluted water, you can see here. Oh, it's getting consumed by the mushrooms and stuff. So polluted water goes through all of that. Um, and you can see fairly clearly that that, this goes into the liquid filter and this jumps over it. What are we printing? Briar seed? Sure. What's the temperature here? 86. It is very slowly climbing. So I have, uh, I have a hunch that it's not climbing fast enough to like run the steam turbine. Also, the loop was working before, so that's definitely not the problem. Can 
Can we sweep this? Not liquid spills. And then we need a bridge now that we're able to put it there. Gretty spaghetti. Oh, wait, 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 that's wrong. Oh, that was close. Bridge connected to wrong pipe, yes indeed. Good catch. And last but not least, we need to actually build this liquid reservoir. Quinn and Undead are supplying. I think I remember seeing a combo somewhere that used the steam engine near the crusher, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that earlier. Like, we should actually take advantage of the heat we produce as opposed to just trying to get rid of it. Uh, easier said than done on a first playthrough. Alright, so now we need to move the liquid sensor all the way down, let's say here, or maybe here. And five degrees might be enough, but I'm going to have to have more arbitrary... I, I might potentially have to have a higher arbitrary... Uh, temperature limit to ensure that this doesn't reach zero degrees. And then we're going to have to put a whole lot more water. How much does this store? Five tons. We're going to have to put nearly five tons, like four or four-ish tons. Actually, probably not that much, just a little bit more water would probably do it. Uh, automation wire. It's going to go all the way down here. We're going to get rid of this one. Why can't I... There we go. Easier said than done on a fifth playthrough too. I'm so close to reinstalling, but I don't know if I want to be depressed this weekend. Ouch. Alright, so since we have the AND gate... Uh, we're definitely not receiving a green signal up here now. Uh, and we're going to have to add more water to this. I think... I think the way we'll do it is... Oh, I can actually do it like this. Yeah. And then I can just remove that bridge once we're done. Bridge weaving. Our water supply is getting a bit low. How many days until... 46 cycles until this works again, so I think... I think we die. Um... I can scoop up all the algae in the world to prolong our life somewhat. But I don't think... I, I mean, I, I can get water from up here as well. Ideally, next activity 2.9 cycles. If these two vents are out of sync, that sort of helps. It is a steam vent though. Makes it a little bit more complicated. Well, not really. But yeah, we need to pump water away from here. You got three electrolyzers, yes. Should be more than enough. Yeah, but we don't have... We're going to run out of water. That's the, that's the issue there. Alright. So we're filling up our reservoir. Um, I'm going to switch this off. What's the temperature here? All inputs blocked. Repair errand. Damage overloading. What? Potential load 
4 out of 20 kilowatts? That doesn't make sense. Damage overloading. Oh, you're kidding. The, c the joint plate is limited at 2k? What? Heavy what? 20 kilowatts. Heavy what joint plate? It doesn't say, but if I mouse over this... Potential load 1200 watt out of 2000 watt. What is the point of this? If the... If the conductive wire can do 2 kilowatts and it can just go straight through things... What... The joint plate is doing fine, the wire underneath it is... Why is there conductive wire here? Okay, that makes more sense. Wait, what? Oh, there's conductive wire here as well. Sneaky! And there's conductive wire here... Okay, so... Heavy watt wire, heavy watt wire, heavy watt wire, conductive wire. Heavy what? Heavy what? Heavy what? Heavy what? Heavy what? Okay. So it's just here. No, how is that conductive wire here as well? What? We had to... We had to run heavy what wire over this. Don't tell me there's conductive wire bet behind all of these. No, there's not. Good grief. Alright, let's get rid of all the craftily hidden conductive wire. I can't find any here. What? Did I... Oh, I think it isn't actually behind this tile. It's only because we're mousing over this red alert thing. So it's only this tile and this tile. I think. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Sneaky. The plates are not actually wires, but tiles, so when you build them over old wires, they don't get replaced. Yeah. That should probably actually be more than enough water, right? This is going to run... Water's going to go through here. Uh, there's going to be plenty of slack here. But this is going to stay saturated all the time. That, that should do it, right? So, let's deconstruct this already. Who's getting scolded? Is it spoiler to say that the way you build it is not going to work? Probably. At least as much as I saw in the last 10 minutes. Uh, we'll see. Did we get rid of the wire? Yeah, we did. And, of course, we ended up with irons stuck in there as well. Sweep it up. Go on, get rid of it. Nope, there's more. Errands. Oh, right, I forgot these don't show errands, but we got it. That's the main thing. I do like the small mercy that switches can actually instantly be flicked by the player, as opposed to, like, 
Dwarf Fortress or Rimworld. We don't get a lot of that kind of small mercy, especially in this sort of thing. Alright, are we ready to try again? I think so. Oh, wait, did I set this? I didn't. 6.9 degrees, that's probably about right. Alright, so if the temperature of this water is above 5 degrees, we're going to run the cooler. If uh, this is below 102 degrees or something, 101, 102 degrees, we're going to run the cooler. That's an end condition. If either of those conditions are not met, we're not going to run the the aqua tuna. And we've got plenty of water right here, but also plenty of space so that the output pipe should always have room and this part should always be saturated so it's not going to give a red signal just because there's no water. Now it's running much more aggressively, as expected. Alright, what's our temperature? 87.6, 87.7, Talking of DF, did you plan on trying DF when Kitfox is finished with the graphics mod? Uh, I wasn't aware of that, but I could. I actually caught, uh, I was actually saying earlier today, I think, um... Dwarf Fortress, but without the eye strain would be nice. Although I haven't played it in a very long time, so there's going to be a very big learning curve. Like, probably an entire stream just getting the basics set up. I guess that's not too different from Oni. How damaged is everyone? I am Sark. Don't let yourself get down to 25 hit points. That's that, that's a no-no. Who else? Damsel is down to 36. Get in the triage card. No arguments. Alright, so our cooling loop is doing its thing. We're up to 89 degrees. Have to put logic circuits on your dupes? Yeah. I mean, the triage cot has a setting. Uh, a duplicate may not use this cot until their health falls below X. I set it to 100. Like, the most aggressive, please get yourself healed setting that I could set it to. And they're getting all the way down to 25% health. I'm not okay with that. Ninety degrees. That setting only tells them when to get off the cot, not when to seek it out. And that's terrible. Please don't kill me, I'm trying. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, there's a very hot area here, people get scalded all the time. I should really make an alternate route through here once we've got this working as well, if we ever get it working. 90.5 degrees. The way I read it is, once the dupe is on this cot they cannot leave until 100% health. Nothing to do with how hurt they are before getting on, I see. Yeah, I would much prefer to be able to set how much, how aggressively they decide to get healed. Next activity, 44 cycles. It's going to take a while to run out of this water, though. 
Okay, we're at 90... The end gate is at 92.5 degrees. But the water is at 92 degrees exactly now. 92.1. So if this doesn't work... Uh, we're, we're trying to manage the temperature very carefully here so that... Up here... You can see it's like, what, seven degrees cooler? Uh, the steam turbine itself is reporting 85.6, so that's... Yeah, something like seven degrees cooler. If we keep this at just over 100 degrees, so that we get our steam, um, and also keep this cool enough so it doesn't overload by managing the temperature here, we can maybe get away with the heavy watt joint plate. If not, we'll have to give in to the dark side of using power transformers. Ninety... what? Ninety-three point eight degrees? I should probably check on some other things. Uh, oxygen is not the worst. I think it's been improving, actually. Salford Sal, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, you're just in time to see our steam slash cooling loop maybe work again, kind of. I wanted to build a smaller prototype... Uh, but that didn't work out so well. So I've got a cooling loop that goes through the entire base. Uh, we got a water reservoir that's like half empty up here. So that this sensor always has water. And this always has room to output. Uh, water coming out of here has to be 5 degrees or warmer. Uh, this has to be like... No hotter than like 102 degrees. Uh, I know that heavy watt joint plate conducts heat a lot better than the insulator tile, but I was hoping to get away with not using a transformer here. Uh, if we manage the temperature just right, there's like a seven degree difference between this spot and this spot. So I was hoping to just manage that so we get steam, but just barely, um, so that the steam turbine doesn't overheat. Tumbling Satellite, Galactic Red Dragoon. Good to see you all again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're currently at 96.4 degrees now. We're getting very close. Uh, up here we've got our electrolysis loop. Which gets kick-started by coal and or dupes. Uh, in theory, it should be able to run itself, but we're using power on the Thermo Aquatuna. Doing alright. Love seeing me some violation of thermodynamics with heat deletion. Indeed. Steam Turbine really is the start of the mid-game. Pretty sure the Turbine needs steam at 120. 125? Oh, no. Well, that's more than 7 degrees. Th that's more than 107 degrees. That's terrible. Alright, well, we're going to run this until we prove it. Uh, except I had, like... I'm pretty sure I had steam that was less than 125 degrees before, and this thing was trying to work, but it was overheated. Otherwise, the steam will be too cold to run the turbine. You have a lot of water in there, don't you? Uh, yes. It wasn't a problem before. We did flash this to steam before, uh, even though this water takes up all of this space.
That's why it's taking a while then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a thousand kilos per square, but we only get ten kilos uh, for each tile of pipe. That gets cooled by 14 degrees, so... Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of thermal mass. And there it is, 100 degrees. And we're only at 91.7 up here. So does it actually say that it needs 125, or is that like wiki knowledge? I did look here earlier. I can't remember what it was, but I clicked on one of the links here and it just said, like, 404, basically. Wiki knowledge? Yeah, that's... That's a design flaw, no matter how you look at it. That, that That's not quite okay, in my opinion. Um, so we are seeing some steam in here. Nice. Four out of five inputs blocked. That makes sense. Oxygen. Oh, it's just the gas that's here. Building disabled. 95, 96, 97. Temperature. Thermosensor is at 101. So maybe I should set this to 101. So we have steam. Uh, zero inputs blocked. Yeah, it just doesn't say what the problem is. Oh, building... wait, building disabled. Well, that would probably help. At least some steam, yes indeed. It was disabled, yes. Okay, here we go. Generator idle. Uh, it's not saying that any of the inputs are blocked. We've got steam, 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 and steam. And if we go literally another 0.3 of a degree hotter, it's not going to work because it's too hot. Okay. So... Now we've got two problems. Uh, maybe I should let the Aqua Tuna run for a while though, because uh, it is cooling the base, and we need that to not starve to death. Oh, I never dug this. That's that's a problem. Um, yeah, because we need mealwood, etc., to be able to grow. And it's pretty close to 30 degrees. On the other hand, the power that I'm spending that's supposed to be for oxygen uh, is going to this cooling. I mean, I think we need both, honestly. I poured 1.5k before spaced out. It came out, I waited until they ironed out the kinks, and never went back to it because Factorio. It happens. Uh, okay, so... So there's two problems here. We need to... give in to the dark side and use transformers, so that we can use conductive wire here, so that we can have insulated tiles here, so that hopefully... This can be 125 degrees, and this cannot be 100 degrees. But now that we're here, this room is full of steam. Dupe about to die? What? Oh, that's... Wait, what? Uh... Incapacitated? Oh no. Health zero. Uh, 
Um, how do I rescue him? Involuntary, recover breath, self. Uh, how... How did this happen? Is the... <laughs> Can I not get a dupe to help him? What if I dig this? He was right next to the steam generator, watched his health going down as he delivered materials. I've been talking about this like seven times today. Um, I want to set it so that they immediately come back for healing, but... Apparently, this is only at what health level will they get off the cart. Empty out a hospital bed and a dupe will rush to the rescue. Okay. Who's healthier? Kevin DK. Can I... Do I just tell him move or do I... There we go. I think, I think they can reach him here, but could you move up here for starters? Supping wet, holding breath, dying. Well, that's not ideal. They can reach, yeah. I'll still... I'll do a two-pronged attack here. What's he doing? Pleasant <laughs> chit-chat. <laughs> What's his current job happens? Um... I... I can't tell. I think he's trying to rescue. Oh, no. Is he digging it? That works too. As long as he doesn't die from the fall. Yeah, I didn't think he would die from the fall. Oh my... O okay. Uh, let's put this here as well. Yeah, that didn't... That didn't help that much. Is someone gonna... Do something? What? Veldak? Oh my goodness. Uh, get off the cot, please. Slow down. Now is someone gonna rescue him? Assigned to I am Sark. Okay. Picked up. I am Sark. Are you kidding me? He died like five tiles away from the cot? I've been a loyal viewer. <laughs> Not like this. What the hell? And it was because someone took the cot as well. Ugh. I can't get them to go to the cot as a priority, literally to save their lives. But someone took the cot the moment that we desperately needed to save a different dupe. Did you kill me? No, you killed I am Sark, Feldak. You blocked his path to the cot. While he was drowning and unconscious and we needed someone to rescue him. I... I I, I, I freed up a cart, and then, while we tried to get access to I am Sark, I looked back here and Veldak had, had taken the cart. Every dupe that's working near the stem, uh, steam turbine loses health fast. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but it's never gotten to that extent before. I have been, like, checking on them and often forcing them to go heal. They'll get as low as like 25%, even though I want them to come here as soon as they're even scratched. But... 
That's frustrating. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's not fine. He needed to be dug out of the sand. Yeah. Just print another one and call it a day? It was a named dew. Ah. I really dislike this, this cot system, this, instead of telling them how, how aggressively they should come to the cot, it's wait till you are X percent healed before you leave the cot. I demand a new dupe in his honor. I think that's probably fair. If I go around, oh no, not this, not again, not this way. Good grief, how low are people now? Damsel's on nine? Beldak is still healing, I think. Um, is anyone up here right now? I think I might just forbid going upstairs. There's no one else up here, right? Need more cots? Finally, the owls get their revenge. No. Less dupes need less food and air. Yeah, I would definitely limit it to eight next time. Until I really get a handle on things. Because the time limit that you have to get everything, like, infinite, uh, like you're not just slowly running out of resources, is really just a function of how many dupes you have. Of course, you have less manual, uh, you have less labor power if you have fewer dupes, but, um, but overall, like most of the time, they're not doing that much. Prime opportunity to kill off some tubes. You could only enable the left side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it... I think I got this right when I guessed it over here, but is it like rotated to the right? When we do this? I think it is. So if I say... You can go right through the door. They won't go back up through here. <sighs> Everyone's stressed. I'm dead hunter. Are they upset because I because someone's dead? Why do we look at the stress? Uh, let's see. Morning. Yeah, 20% per cycle. Do I at least get a mausoleum? Uh, do you mean this thing? A memorial? I think that's the best I can do. Where do I... It's under medicine. I don't think I have a mausoleum. Is that actually a thing? Mosley no. Okay. Welp. That's unfortunate. And the mess that I made to try and make it more possible to save him uh, is not helping us either. I do have a print available, but here rests I am sp <laughs> I am sock scolded by a generator. Uh, I imagine it was because there were two cots taken up that he didn't go to get healed. 
and there's just no other AI behavior where, like, he'll go to his room or something. Okay. Uh, I think that's about as good a time as any for a little break. We're going to do some words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to... I was going to say we're going to continue, but we actually lost. Let's start again. Uh, good luck and have fun.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? I find it rather odd that the conductive wire limit is 2k, but the power transformer's output to either 1k or uh, 4k. What are you going to do? Have like four power transformers coming off of one of these? That seems a bit excessive. So we could still have the, um, we could still have the steam turbine on heavy watt wire. We just connect this over here. But then maybe the battery should be on its own thing as well. Uh, this could still, oh, I never finished this either. Now is probably the perfect time since, well not now, now, but soon. As soon as we run out of water here, it'll be the perfect time to update this. Um, I'm just trying to decide where I should have the split here. Couldn't we just... Do we even need the transformer? What if we have the heavy watt wire connect this way, and then we just don't need this joint plate? I could still have this one here, although it does leak some heat out down the bottom. But in this case, this area is already hot anyway. But it probably loses some efficiency, to say the least. So... I think... Transformer... I could maybe move that battery. Just for convenience sake. Move these switches as well while we're at it. Let's say we put our transformer here. And then we've got... 1200 watt, 240 watt, that is well within 2 kilowatts on this side. That should be fine, right? Alright, so let's cut this power and uh, that's taking a surprisingly long time to run out. I guess because we're not really using it that much. Alright. Deconstruct the battery. We're gonna have to let that steam out. That's gonna be fun again. The steam, when we let it out before, it, it expanded to take up this entire area. It took its sweet time going away. Well, it didn't take that long. Um, is there any way I could just pull the steam? If I wait, is it likely to cool down? I don't think so. Oh, did that just drop in temperature a little bit? Yeah, there's water in here now. Or was water there before? There is a way dupes can work diagonally? Hmm. I don't think diagonals are going to get us to replace all of that um, heavy watt wire on the inside, though. Steam? Yeah, yeah. Temperature's definitely dropping, as we can see from the thermosensor acting up. It helps that we're 
uh, that our water geyser has finished doing its thing for a while as well. Hmm. I don't know how long it's going to take, though, if it is going to cool down on its own. It's a pretty hot area. Since the heat is leaking, if you disable the aqua tuner, the steam should turn back to water in time. Alright, well, what we can do regardless... Uh, what we can do regardless is start working on oh wait before I deconstruct that I should deconstruct this wire yeah while we wait for it to cool down we could just uh Actually, steam rises. I could just dig this away. I, I could deconstruct this and... Or even just give it a mesh tile so the debris doesn't fall down. And the water will leak down to... I don't want the water to leak out though. It would be ideal if I don't have to fill this up again. Then again, it's not that difficult. We just put it we just put a temporary bridge here again. They're not allowed in there? Uh yes, that's correct. Should I just wait for it to liquefy again? Maybe. We do have other tasks to complete outside of this box. And then I could remove this and do our surgery without removing the water. Why are you here with 40% health? I really wish I could put rules in place so that they have to be above a certain amount of health to come here. Okay. Did someone deconstruct this? No. I think I'll go ahead and force whoever's lowest on health. Narita and Sloda. Uh, I think this is reserved for Damsel right now, actually. Yeah. Narita. Onto the cot with you. I was going to say it's slowly creeping down temperature-wise, but I just saw it go back up in this corner. Okay. How long is it going to take to get this deconstructed? Let's clean up this water. Good grief, that's a lot. Oh, Neapolitan pollution slash polluted water slash water. Uh, is continuing to look worse. I think I need to completely redo this. Alright, we got rid of those power connections. Now we can put in... Oh, let's get rid of this first. And while we're at it, all of 
this stuff. And this. And I just realized when I replaced this, that's going to fall in there, but that's actually okay. So, all of this, please. Um, we can get rid of that liquid pump while we're at it. Fantastic. How's everyone's health this time? 54 is the lowest, and that's Neratar climbing back up. How about... Look. Who's getting scaf scalded right now? Undead Hunter. You can leave now. Y you can leave now. No, don't go straight back up there. Are you... Okay. Okay. Good, thanks for asking. <laughs> Okay. Heat is leaking through the power plate, I'd wager, indeed. It is taking its sweet time getting back down to 100 degrees. Um, those pipes can go. And this can go. I guess we could put ladder here as well. Uh, and we can get rid of all of this, actually. Except that's going to be a problem. I wonder if we do actually have enough water stored to get through uh, the water geyser's dormancy. 39 cycles. How many cycles has it been since it stopped? 86.4 cycles every 140.4. Uh, so 140 minus 86. It's active for 54. No, wait, it's active for 86. It's inactive for 54. So we're like, what, a quarter-ish or a third-ish into its inactivity? And this is our water storage still. So maybe we've got enough. Okay, now then. Transformer. Uh, something that has plus 50 heat. So copper should be... Fa oh, I can't actually put it there. That's okay, I guess. And then... Conductive wire. Copper. Just... Straight through here, I guess. And deconstruct that. What's everyone's health like? Sloder and undead 57. Could be worse. Pipe blocked. Why is this looking damaged? What temperature is it? 71 degrees. Overheat 75. That was probably it. Probably. How did you not get scalded? Huh. 
This is 80 degrees. Okay. Now you get scalded. Maybe we should mop this up. Right, there's our transformer. And who's most scalded right now? Quinn is getting there. It appears like he's wearing a sweater, which might help. Uh, which one was wearing a sweater? Maybe I should limit this access to just the people who can, who are wearing sweaters, if that's the case. Quinn, that's, that's irresponsible. Could you please go and heal immediately? Thank you. Overcrowded. The oldest ones are 44 and 45. Thirty-seven, sixteen, sixty-three, and two. Okay. Are you wearing a sweater? Where do I tell? So red shirt, I think, is the default, right? Here we go. Sheep say mare. Properties. No. Status. Carried items. Coal. Um. Where do I see if they're wearing something? Bio? I don't think so. Right next to move, it would say take off suit. Oh, so he's not wearing something? And under equipment. Okay. Who's in combat? Oh, that's right, I told him to... Hold a herd of hatchlings. 37. Okay. Oh, we're pumping this already? That was surprisingly easy. Uh, the steam is gradually getting colder. We're at 100.5 degrees. That's not that slow. Maybe I should just wait until it's water. Probably. Uh, except I just realized we actually need to get rid of this heavy watt joint plate while it's still steam. So that we can put insulated tile here. Because we can't just do a swap. We want to do that while it's still lighter than air. Someone going to do this? And we... What? Why are you here with 36 health? Where did you go? Wait, what? There you are. Okay, do we have... A cot. We do. Get in the cot, please. Alright. Oh, the steam is coming out anyway. Oh god. Oh no. Oh crap. So 
so much for the steam being lighter than air. What? No. Anyone but you, Ben Wu. You're already assigned to the... <sighs> okay. We're just going to do priority nine here. The pressure was one ton per square. I see. Well, now it's everywhere. Move to here, please. And... Aside to cot. Okay, good. Maybe I should just not let them back up there. Until the steam liquefies. Steam just exploded out. Well, now we play the waiting game, I suppose. What should we do in the meantime? How's our temperature? It's not that bad because we ran the Aquatuna for a while. You might want to build that one gap so that there is no other gas in your steam chamber. Build that one other gap. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, we're going to have to swap this for airflow tile when we fill this up again. And then change it back to insulated. Okay. At least most of it is going to fall into our water supply here. What should we do while we wait for that, I wonder? We've got printables. Oxalite, sure. Um, we've already got all the plastic that I know what to do with. Um, we're also relatively low on oil until I get some more. Why are there only two Slicksters here? Did the other ones die? What do they eat? I thought it was, yeah, diet carbon dioxide. There's no shortage of that. Or is this vacuum? No? I guess the others just died of old age? How old, how long do they live? Um, good question. Oh, here it is. Age 34 out of 100. 100 cycles. Alright. How's our coal? 7.7 .7 tons. That is bad. Um, I've stopped supplying the coal to run our oil system quite a while ago. And we're still slowly running out. I did stop the system that we've got for our metal refinery. Uh, the only... I think the only coal consumption we've got is for kickstarting uh, the electrolyzers. Jeeps need to run all the way up here to use the manual generators. 
to help with this now. We're going to run out of oxygen if I don't do something, I think. Probably. Then again, I did turn off the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Does the transformer leak energy kind of like a battery? I don't think it does. Power leak. No, even though it's got a little bit of uh, battery capacity. Is that with DLC enabled? No, I don't have the DLC. So... I've done the math before on this. It should be able to run itself in theory, but the inconsistency with the uh, hydrogen output, we can end up in a situation like this where the hydrogen is blocked by the oxygen, which is blocked by the gas filter. So our power, uh, our power source is not reaching the generator. Mm. Um, I don't particularly... This is kind of lose-lose, which is less bad. Letting people up here to get scolded again, so that we can get our oxygen generation going. How much oxygen do we have? Not that much. I think we have to risk it. Your King Crowley, thank you for the follow. Well. Malcolm, hope you're doing well. Sloder is still on 64 health. And Cavern DK is on 83. Okay. Now I'll let people go back up. And hopefully avoid getting scalded too much. Oh, the water, the liquid reservoirs are breaking as well. Because it's too hot, I think. It's not currently too hot. But it only had to be too hot for a little while, I think. What? Don't go further in there? Okay. Which one was that? Nerita. Once this cot is available, I'll put Nerita on it. Incapacitated? Okay, how do they keep getting incapacitated at this spot in particular? Um... I'm very curious about that. Maybe they get scolded while they're on the ladder? Alright, we're kicking Cavern off the cot. And... You know what? I'm kicking Sloda off the cot as well, just to be sure. I'm gonna go slow speed. They get incapacitated on that ladder and then fall. Hmm. Is someone going to go rescue? Not this person. Can I assign it to... Yeah, okay, it's already done. Someone is going to get Damsel. <laughs> Despite the situation, I can't help but laugh at that. <laughs> Someone's coming. Oop. Probably be fine. Pro Cavern? That was rude. Alright, Undead Hunter's got you. Okay. That's... That's good. Now don't die five tiles away from the cot, please. That would be unfortunate. 
And now you can stand up, I guess. Okay. Is that 0% health? Basically, yes. I'd better keep an eye on the others. Eritar's at 53. If I do an alternate path down here, are they going to avoid the hot area? Unless they have to go through there? I guess we could try it. Um, but I have a sort of dodgy water reservoir here that's going to flood our entire base. Um, what if I dug through here? We could maybe do that. I don't want to dig through that natural farm, but what if we went like through the abyssalite it's a bit of a shame to dig through it, but this might help They'll likely go the quickest route, best to lock off the area you don't want them in. Maybe assign a locked door to specific dupes. I could always just deny dupes going through this door. That might be all it takes. In fact, if I deny it right now, it should sort itself out. Yeah, that should minimize the time that they spend in the hot area. How can the steam be at 96 degrees? Get liquefied. I know it takes a huge jump in energy to go... Oh, there it goes. Uh, it takes a huge jump in energy to go from liquid to gas, but it's not like it takes energy to go from like, extra energy to go down from gas to liquid, does it? Or am I totally wrong about that? Um, let's remove these. And then... We're not deconstructing the con... Oh, we did mark that for deconstruction. The thresholds are like 105 for boiling and 95 for liquef liquef liquefaction to avoid rubber banding. Okay. So that's a video game simulation reasons, not actual physics. Molecular Forge processes rare minerals into advanced industrial goods. Rare minerals can be retrieved from space missions. I see. Okay, so that's someday, TM. Uh, we're still researching, actually. We're going to need some ladder up here.
Alright, so I guess we're almost ready to... No, we are ready to deconstruct this. And the rest. And once that's done, we can replace it with conductive wire. Actually, I don't think we have to wait for that part, do we? The sensors don't need power, right? Yeah, no. Taking their sweet time digging back up. Um, it's still like 92 degrees in there. Let's mop this up so that people don't step in it and get scalded. As much. as everyone's health? Still 58 for Neratar. We really need to get that oxygen going again. We've got a while before disaster, but... It'll happen. Builder diggers are the best. Building broken. I know... Oh. I was going to say, I know there's one here that's broken, but that's all of them. How did natural gas get here? Oh, we didn't visit this yet. Um, wait, what? I thought I had to scan or something. This door cannot be manually controlled. Do I actually have to... I think I just have to add some automation wire here. Apparently automation wire defaults to green, or is there something... Uh, is there something I'm not noticing just here? Is that actually connected, even though it looks like it's not? How it, how did they get automation wire where there's igneous rock? Is it just like a rendering glitch that that's not actually looking like it's connected? Flatulent, flatulent tubes? No, we didn't take any. They produce a little bit of natural gas. Yeah, I know. I thought that sounded like free electricity, um, but suffice to say, you want Get it, getting to a base that's gonna like clean out all of the air throughout the main base. That is a journey. Looks like a glitch to me. Okay, so we just need to connect this uh, this wire here. A little bit of natural gas probably spilled out when they opened the airlock. 
Isn't the natural gas lighter than air and carbon dioxide? Though? Oh, it's all the way down to the door now. Um, okay, that would explain it. Actually, come to think of it, why isn't... Insufficient resources, natural gas, you're literally bathing in it. What? The natural gas generator does... Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like, um... It does actually need a gas pump to suck it in. Yeah. I thought there was a generator that did just suck in gas, or was I thinking of how the fertilizer spits out natural gas? Or... Hold on. Fertilizer. Is it... Refinement? Natural gas. I think this is what I was thinking of and I was getting it backward. I don't think there is a... As far as I know, there isn't a generator that just sucks in ambient gas. Only the steam turbine can gather its fuel from the environment. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Okay. We're almost up here again. Actually, didn't I let people through here? No, I didn't. Uh, what's our health like? Lowest is 73. Alright, let's see if we can get away with this now. And who's getting scalded? Quinn and Benwu. Don't stay there too long. Okay, that does it. Don't do two more jobs. I Three more jo Four more jobs after I tell you to go to the cot. What? No. Are you kidding me? He's definitely assigned to the cot. Now he's sitting there gasping and getting scalded. Where are you going? No. Bad. Oh, he doesn't have a path, does he? Okay. Alright. Um, it's time for Extreme Micro. We're gonna move him here. What's the temperature like here? 71. Is he gonna get scalded just sitting there? Uh, how hot is that water? 79. I probably don't want him to stand on that until we're ready to go. Is someone on the way to do this? Yes. Who's incapacitated? Are you serious right now? Okay. Quinn, you're not assigned to this cart. What's your health like? 14? Well, normally I would agree. Where is Quinn? Uh, what? Follow cam. There you go. Um, tell you what, just, like, move to here for the moment. Until someone rescues Neritar. And Benwu 
should be assigned to our triage card. I want Nerita to be... Uh, put in the other cot. D no, bad. Are you kidding me right now? Can I ban a, a dupe from coming to the cot? If I limit walking through the door... I can't do an individual thing with this door, can I? Okay, what if... I think I already tried this. Um, what if I tell Quinn to move like, far away somewhere, so that she doesn't, you know, another, we don't get another assignment until she finishes walking, but I think it's just gonna assign her to the cot immediately. Okay, maybe not. I'll move you up here. Nerita assigned. Okay, we got there eventually. And now we need to wait till someone, Undead Hunter and Veldak, come and build this tile. Those can be set individually. The other thing I was considering, even if I can do that, is someone has to carry Nerita through here. That's fine. Set it once they pick him up, I suppose. Undead Hunter, this is not the time to wash, uh, to flick water off of your boots. Oh my goodness. Extreme Hopscotch, go. Keep teleporting back there. Oh my god. Okay. That timing could have been better, I suppose. Are we there? We, we, we did it. Okay. Now go to the cart. And don't die. And where are you going? No. No, no thank you. Please leave this place. Uh, who's picking up Narita? Someone is. But are they taking the long way around or something? Are they able to pick him up even though he's on the door? Ben Wu, this is not the time to shake off your boots. Oh my god, where is Sheep Say Meh going? Okay, that might be okay. What? Don't tell me Benwu just fell over here and now no one's... Who's rescuing Narita? Cancel the delete order? Uh, this one? What? What? Where are you? Construction supply. No. Not right now. Don't immediately come back here. What are you supplying? There's nothing... Construction. There's, there's nothing here. What are you doing? Oh, 
Oh, he's taking resources from there. Yeah. Okay. Is this person... Are you guys serious right now? Okay, can I, like, ban them from picking this up? Apparently not. Quinn, move to here, please. Uh, can I check what jobs they're doing? Farming supply, tend. Lorenzo's probably tending to... No, Happens is tending to Benwu. So does that mean Carenza's trying to rescue uh, Neratar? Carenza. Where are you going? The movement indicators. Oh god, another one? Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me you're only now getting around to burying I Am Sark. Seriously? Oh, no. Tending to crops. Is that what that means? Um, okay. Fabricate. Farming supply. Wait, happens? Oh, that's the to-do list. Treat patient. There we go, triage cot. All right, let me look again. Cook supply, tend. Rescue friend, Neritar. That's Morpheus. Okay. Morpheus is almost there. Thank goodness. We got there eventually. Now let's close this door forevermore. Y'all just gotta be going here, of all places, for resources. Oh, don't stand in the hot water while you do it. Oh, that was already supplied, wasn't it? Alright, now where are you going? Cook supply? What? Construction supply self. Okay, and then? Should probably make more storage so we don't end up with random... Where are you going? Oh, I see. Uh... Not right now, please. Go to the hospital. In fact, let me just cancel those jobs right now. That's risky. Maybe I shouldn't have allowed them to go this way through the door either. Okay, this time we're fine. Stark never got buried, yeah. Wait, don't tell me he's still there. Oh my... G Can I prioritize Sark? No? <laughs> Do I prioritize this? Do I have to assign it? Status empty. Um, I don't see... 
I don't remember having to assign it last time. They have access to it, right? I think they can crawl through this. Let's make sure, I suppose. Also, is that a... Okay, it is a nature reserve again. You don't assign graves. Berlin's Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Or Berlin's. Alright. I could add another door here. I'll, I'll wait till people are healed up before I even order that much. I could put another door here to lock off the whole hot area. And never allow it until people are fully healed. Okay. So no... No new deaths. This time. That is an odd animation. Alright. I think that is just about going to do it for today. No one's about to get scolded. Right? Uh, we do have hydrogen in the system again, so that's good. We're getting oxygen. We're not dying just yet. Alright, let's save that. Tuned in for five minutes, unfortunate. Matrim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We'll see if we can find... Bony on the old Twitch. Good job, everyone. We all survived well, almost. Yeah. We we got a... What is it? Uh, we got a 93.75% survival rate. So, so, so that's good, right? Select errants on the tombstone and look at the priorities. Errands. Uh, yes. Let's get that done, please. You're getting scolded even here? Are you serious? It's only 38 degrees. Is the salt water more conductive or something? Supplying or life support? Uh, what? Yeah, uh, anyway, let's see who is streaming. Oxygen not included today. Look again in the top. What do you mean the top? Up here? Anyway, we're wrapping up the stream for today. Who is streaming Oni? We got Discount Engineer. I think I raided them already. Uh, so maybe we'll try someone else this week. Spread it out a bit. Suffocating for attention. Uh, what else? Maybe a small one. Let's kill my clones together. Oh no. Alright. In this case is supplying all life support. Okay. Let's try... Chest check. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time.
Uh, check out the Discord if you're into Factorio, the blueprints, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Tomorrow we'll be continuing space exploration with K2. And I've actually got something to show off. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think I've finished my dispatch system for Foenestra, so I'm going to be showing off that at the start of the stream. Uh, anyway, let's head over to Chest Check. Take care, guys. Problem is, is I'm not finding the original video I watched. Tyrannosaurus!